Ladies and gentlemen from lovely downtown Harmontown, we bring you this very special Christmas edition of Harmontown. So many surprise special guests. Jeff, Jeff Davis could not be with us. We send so much love to you. I'm a little stoned right now, but my, my name is Brandon Johnson. Watch out for the M's and the B's. I'll be dropping those all night. Let's welcome to the stage, Spencer Crittenden. Yes, make some noise. If you're at home right now, stand up and clap. You ain't doing nothing. You're at home right now. You might as well stand up and cheer yourself up. Stand up and clap. Please keep clapping for the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Ho, yo, ho, 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 yo, ho, yo, yo, ho, yo. I'm Santa Claus. I'm up on your roof. I fucked your mama in the gap between her tooths. I put my dick in her mouth like a thermometer. I took her temperature. I thought I got out of there. I came back next year. Always give her a present. She sheds a tear. She says, I left your milk. I left your cookies. Why don't you give me something better? <clears throat> and I, yeah, and I say, cuz you're naughty, but you're nice. You, you got head lice. Ne back next year. <laughs> Don't ever fear. Fascist takeover down your chimney. A sack of guns. That's all you're getting, so you better run. If you live in Alabama, they came for you first, but you held the line. You quenched a democratic thirst. Yo, thank you, black women. <laughs> Forget black men. You 94%. It's not good enough. All right. <laughs> I'm spoilers. <laughs> you finished uh, strong. You finished strong. I, I got. I got. I got. Had a second win there where the, yeah. it felt, you know, like a, a political Santa started rapping a little bit better <laughs> than than whoever that guy that was opening was. Uh, this is our Christmas special. It's going to be a really, really big special show. I mean, yeah. I just, I, the, I, 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 I threw out the notion leaving the sh the stage yesterday. Like maybe it would be nice if we really Christmassed up the stage and look what Chris Baroff. Who who gets credit? Everybody. Sarah Hill, Excellent. like like uh, uh, like quarterback to this, I believe. Yeah. Chris uh, was probably like a offensive lineman. Someone's m mooing, or is that? Yeah. Also bake those delicious chocolate chip cookies. Two types, vegan and gutsy. I mean, come on. With snacks like this uh, set out, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a few special guests drop by what? for a nibble. What? What? <laughs> so it is an extra special show. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get our hopes too. You know, it's not like Gal Gadot's coming, but oh. uh, it, it's uh, you know, it's I, it's special because. We're in a good mood. I think we're we're probably not doing a show next week, right? Uh, no, right, because it'll be like Christmas Steve. Eve. Is that math right? So you should spend time with your family and or uh, uh, activist group or whatever. Your new family. Your 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 people. The people you pick. Even if you have to uh, find them at random in some chat room, find find a family. Uh, I don't want I don't want to orphan shame you. If family doesn't mean parents. What's an orphan going to do? Nothing. Orphan don't even have no back. Right. Orphan no don't even have no internet. The orphan don't even have no internet. Thank you. Yeah. yeah man. Well, we shall all be orphans soon. Uh, net neutrality has been repealed, which means <laughs> that, you know, I'll have some special rich person's internet where I only get <laughs> Netflix and, like, uh, p poor people tracker to, to yeah. watch and monitor the outside of my house. Poor people will we'll also have, a, like, a poor version of Netflix where they can down they can stream, like, I don't know, movies that don't have, like, too triumphant a message in them. Uh, those will be put in a special fast lane for rich people. And then um, poor people will also have, like, FaceTime, like, if they're at work and they want to check on their kids in the re-education camps. Um, <laughs> poor people will get all the movies that rich people get, just no endings. I really feel that net neutrality, this net neutrality <laughs> thing, even though we don't know what it is a lot of us i understand it's like it's like when i was a kid when people would talk about nicaragua like all you knew was that something bad was happening you didn't want to do the research it was hard net neutrality is like it may as well be the name of some crazy nation where we don't know what's going on <laughs> but 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 i mean 
I think you've probably figured it out by now. God knows all the people that supported it. I, I could see on Twitter, like, had this massive uh, rush of a week where they, having just now, like, started asking each other what it was yeah. because all they knew is that they, the, the, in their opinion, the bad guys liked it, and now it was time to repeal it. Like, someone got to these people and said it was, like, obama trality or something. Yeah. And so, and so you could see them all looking it up and going, huh? And, and then like 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 their big insults were like, like I just like to see some of these people explain this shit that are complaining. It's like yeah, nice try. No yeah. one's doing your homework for you. You fucking greasy fuckface. It's also super easy to explain. The people who brought us ATMs now want to charge us for ATMs. Yeah, it's the same old argument. I the 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 agency that we created because we once thought the radio waves might r- <laughs> run out. Um, who, and that stuck around because once you create a government agency, you just don't get rid of it. You never have a meeting and go, we don't need no ATF anymore. What are we doing? We love alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Let's just get rid of them. I, they, they, these agencies just hang around, and if you're the FCC, you just hang around. And now, yeah, we, so we started using them to at least enforce the concept of neutrality, yeah. which... Much as Thomas Jefferson said about freedom of speech, when I think he was one of the people that was like, maybe we shouldn't put this in this document because then it becomes a legal matter and free speech is going to only get less free if lawyers start arguing about it. But anyways, we put you know the FCC in charge. So here's your job. Stand there and say there's net neutrality. That's your new job. Yeah. You know, you don't have to care if there's tits or F words anymore. You can just stand there and say there needs to be net neutrality. Okay. And so now we had them st- stop standing there and now they're happy because now you can now it's just the internet is no is now private property all of us are trespassing on it like we're all going to be traveling at speeds that are able to be throttled by the monopolies that control your access to the internet probably my audience is is not only aware of this but actually very annoyed with my ignorance of it <laughs> we talked about it in the past, and uh, you also railed against the the marketing flaw of the name net neutrality. <laughs> yes. And you brought up the <laughs> ultimate suggestion that should have been and maybe would have swung everything suggestion that they should change the name to I think butt fun. <laughs> It's might a more worked. positive name than but net fun. neutrality. But fun might have worked. But here's the thing: I, it's just such an assault. It's at this point, it's like. It, the, the, it's not as if there wasn't a chance for the democratic will of the people to be known. It was absolutely known, registered, measured. It was there. We know that the country did not want this. Only some rubes who thought for a, for a, for a busy work week because they only read Nazi zines um, thought that maybe it had, that they didn't want it they'll we a vast vast majority of everybody even the people who only could bother to care a little bit are like yeah that sounds like a dumb thing to lose um and they didn't give a fuck they they it's like we are definitely at this point and i think there's one step left which is this horrible christmas rumor which is that what well there's this rumor that i retweeted this everyone's gearing up because for the for the Saturday Night Massacre Part Two, which is the the rumor that Trump is going to fire Mueller over yeah. Christmas. Yeah, no, but yeah, I hear you. I've heard yeah. that rumor. All right, let's talk about black people in no, Alabama. Well, no, no, let's. What do you think? What are the odds on this? And what do you? What is your plan? Because you did. Oh, you have a handgun. I now. don't have a fucking plan. But you I, have a gun. I have one plan, which is the move on dot whatever plan <laughs> that I retweeted, which is like you RSVP to a thing that says they can text you. And with, so that within 24 hours of Miller getting fired, we're all going to, f- you know, just flood the streets at our... You're shaking your head. <laughs> That's a bad plan. <laughs> 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 I suggest we all light a cigarette and take it up the butt one more time. Not that taking it up the butt is a bad thing. Only if it's against your, ch- your choice. If he fires right. Miller, you think we should... You get used to it. Folks, what? Listen... You're so we, cynical. We, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm gonna say we blew it a long time ago. This is like if to, if our father who uh, left our mother comes back drunk on Easter, are we gonna celebrate? No. 
we know where we are. That motherfucker don't love us. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> we are in such but trouble. But this is about rule of law. That would be. This, it's about. What you gonna him, do? It's about slap his hand when he reaches out for the applesauce that he can't. <laughs> he cannot be passed. There's. A, it's like it's gonna be. It's the last rule that he will have to break if he wants to know he has permission to break all rules forever. I mean, I, I know we've all had a lot of final lines drawn in our personal sands and things, but. I, it, it is like, I mean, this is the second fucking guy that's an independent person that's trying to hold, to just g bring this investigation into the goddamn station. Any uh, president should be uh, absolutely willing to watch it play out. And yeah. it's it's obscenely almost funny uh, how little fault can be found with this particular guy. And if, if he, if he, if this... If this autocrat fires him over Christmas break, that is him saying, I would, that's like a kid, like, taking his dick out and putting it in his mother's face at, uh, over Christmas, like, while company's over. So what's the mom supposed to do? Like, you, that, your advice is to say, is to say just, why don't you just suck on it a little bit? Maybe he'll fall asleep. No, I'm saying your kid was... <laughs> First of all, that's not what my mother did. She sent me to my room. <laughs> Second of all, I'm saying your kid was bad before you brought him to the Christmas table, and now you're going to reprimand him in front of us and scar our fucking Christmas? Why are you so fatalistic now? You're always the uplifting guy. I'm, you're still, the... I'm still uplifted, but I'm like this. You, you won't, Somebody you... been squeezing your titties this long, and you really going to say something now? <laughs> This is a this is a this is a, is a, this is a privilege thing, right? This no, is like a I'm welcome to the party white boy thing. Uh, like. uh, I'm I'm just very honestly telling you that we don't have a leg. To, we're not on the gun side. The, what you would want is for the militia people to do something, but they're not. They're on his side. So as liberals, if they if they do something else to us, there's really let, let's be honest. We don't have the votes to impeach. We're just now getting Congress back. We can't really fuck with this dude. Yeah, but don't you want to? Not make, on that level. I mean, it's a, is it? I mean, the the. the 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 like the women's march did accomplish something there was it didn't accomplish anything in writing it didn't accomplish any uh, legislation it was a it was the the sheer numbers the fact that people's arms were rubbing up against uh glass and plaster and 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 no one was fighting and the streets were clogged in every major city because he fucked with women and women's rights and then it was just like fromp and then since then, it's been like, let's try that again. And everyone's like, you know what? I got, I got work. I got to pick up my kids. But you know, this is, this is the, this is the other thing. I mean, like this is the thing where you want your numbers to count, where you go, where you want somebody to know. I would almost say, but what I like the RSVP what, system because I like the idea that the news item that that ends up back on Fox News, where he can see it, says, you know, by the way. 90 million Americans say that this is fucking it. They can't handle it anymore, and they're going to actually walk out of their house, not show up at their job, and they're going to go down to City Hall and stand there and piss at a bucket until something changes. Um, but I don't think that, that, that this is it. All right. Because we, don't have the, we just don't have the numbers. This it, is it, the, but this is the guy in charge of the investigation that absolutely it is, it, I mean... <laughs> In some weird universe, which if we're if we're if we're people that observe law and order, uh, we have to acknowledge like it's, there's some weird universe where where they go, you know what? This is all clean. It's all fine. He's perfect. We looked through his tax returns. We looked through his connections, his financial uh, information, uh, the, 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 the four years leading up to this whole thing. Uh, you know what? There's no hanky-panky going on. This is just fine. Then, and then we all, it's a, either that's going to happen or there's going to be a fucking thing. And, and, if, and if, so if this investigation doesn't reach its conclusion, we're, what are we doing then? What, what are you so excited to get on with? Then we're just defeated and hanging out and just like... Yeah, I think they stole it from us. They got it right now. Well, we have our streets. We have each other. We have ACLU. We have Planned Parenthood. We have these grassroots things. Uh, the political thing, I don't think we have. I, I honestly don't know how we're going to come back from him firing Mueller because I don't know what we can do. That's not, that's not what we do. It's just got to be like a... We just got to be, there has to be enough of us and we got to go like this. <laughs> right. That's the problem with, I like, I love being a, you know, liberal, but it's like when war starts, we kind of are not the first people to take up arms and it's kind of hard to get motivated to fight them on that level. I can fight them on the, 
we need to have some food drives. I can fight them on the raise funds for a family that gets burnt out in the California fires. But when they start doing crazy upper level government stuff, that's not that's not where we me personally, I, I can't really fuck with them on that level. I'm like, you guys just got away with a heist and I, I honestly can't even correct that heist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It'd be like, honestly, if they were like, we're raising interest rates. Well, I'm going. I RSVP. <laughs> they got my number. And here's the thing that I want to say about these marches, because you asked, what did the Women's March do? And I think that these shows of force, whenever we show up in large numbers, it lets people know, next time there'll be more of us, and there'll be more of us, and there'll be more of us. And we also get to look at each other and say, I'm with you. I got your back. I'm with you. So it works. All right. But... When those marches wind up in the places where people are disenfranchised, then I'll know that we're not playing around. Like when you do a women's march that actually winds up going to the women's center in downtown LA and maybe helping out, those bodies, those thousands of people show up week after week to keep those infrastructure up, then I'll be like, okay, we, we, we are doing some shit, we're in trouble and we're reacting Interesting. in a positive way. When they, when they take the march all the way to Compton, instead of stopping it in the richest part of the city, which is downtown LA, when they march all the way to Compton and they spend money in those stores, they, they look around and they clean up those buildings, they pick up some trash, then I'll be like, okay, What's now we're- What's in there? What do they got? What do they got in those stores? <laughs> they got good shit in those stores. Like, you can do a there, candy store? Yeah. A candy house? Is there a vape? Is there a vape, <laughs> there's vape place? There's all sorts of secondhand shit. There's shops down there. But there's, the point is, like, we're still talking shit. So on this one, we, we can't really draw a line in the sand. Because we don't, that's not how we even operate. All right, fine, Brandon now, Johnson. That doesn't, that doesn't mean we shouldn't be outraged. It's just really, what are, you, what are we supposed to do? All fly to Washington, D.C. when this happens? And we should all Yeah, fly. let's do that. <laughs> Let, yeah. How do we all First have class, that though. money? We don't all have that money. No, but everyone who does can, and hopefully that's, you know, enough people to break the walls down. <laughs> What, what are we going to do when we get there? Are we going to we going to raise money for poor people? Or no, we just... we're going to throw ourselves violently at the walls of the White House until our bodies have to be removed from the Capitol. Can we, instead of maybe going to them, take ourselves away from the Internet? We can we maybe tell these motherfuckers what we expect it to be so they give us shit like hybrid cars, like solar panels? Can we teach industry how to? listen to us when we say we don't want to throttle why are we even using our government to talk to these motherfuckers when quite honestly as a consumer can't we just tell them we don't want that shit well they're monopolies they have in multiple they've cases. awarded monopolies by the, the what then why, why don't we take a couple months off and hit their bottom line all right well because that's that's way faster than congress and that's what they respond to they stop making clear pepsi I think they, <laughs> I think I think they waited. They 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 clear Pepsi didn't successfully wait thirty years so that everyone that needed to send out their resume get 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 memos from their boss, coordinate with their babysitter, uh, c get in touch with their family, let everyone know what they're doing had to use clear Pepsi. You know, like they waited till the right time. Like they're, they, I don't know how we we, 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 we we shut Blockbuster uh, down. I, what what. That's because DVDs came out. What do you mean? DVDs came out because Blockbuster was renting to us and we were all surrounded. We were going to Blockbuster like it was a thing, the whole family, right? Mm -hmm. And then Blockbuster was like, we could just hit you for fees. We don't even care if you keep the movie, rent the movie, whatever. We're going to hit you for fees. And then states came out and said, no, fees are the, are the duty of the state. That's the only thing, that's the only recourse we have. A private entity can't collect fees, or then we're all fucked. Well, that was before my time. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was Red So Box. when you were like eight. <laughs> um, so that, that sort of facilitated industry to respond in a way where you got Netflix, where that motherfucker came along and was like, hey, you ain't got to pay fees. You can keep the DVD. We don't even care. We want a subscription service. So I'm like, we have taught corporations and industries how we want to be treated. And if they need to learn it again, on this net neutrality thing, that's just the deal. That's the deal. When they put shitty TV on, we stopped watching and we went over to the internet. And if they fuck the internet up, we'll, I don't know, maybe we'll go back to, to hanging out with each other and reading books and shit. But <laughs> overall, they, they will learn from us how we're about to get treated. All right, so false alarm, I came up, I said, <laughs> no. 
So everything's going to be fine because when when we finally get mistreated enough, we're going to show them what's up by going to the Women's Center. Yeah, I don't think anything bad will happen when it comes out officially that it turns out you can rig an election without consequence. I think going forward, it'll all be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know if anybody wants to deal on some of this delicious lead paint I got. <laughs> the, uh, it goes great with asbestos. I mean, they fucking took huge sodas out of New York. That's a possibility. We can do a lot of damage that winds up go- being good for ourselves. You know? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we're in California. We're going to be fine no matter what. That's the thing. It's not about, like, our specific comfort, I don't think, hopefully. I mean, even without net tr- neutrality, like, I can afford to pay for a fast lane, you know? But it's not... That's not what's at stake for the bigger picture, right? No, but California's already are we've already started to sue like immediately. And I think there's 10 other states, it's 11 total. Yeah. 11 states have already pushed back and said you're not going to be able to do this. So while it is terrifying and it's not fair, we do we we stand a good chance of getting our way in this deal. If we fight as citizens, if we keep trying to legislate our way out of these battles, it's going to get rough. And well, they, you know, showing up to a thing where you sit cross-legged in the street until they mace you and drag you away and use your body to gum up the works of... Uh, you, you, that, that's not legislation. That's I, I'm talking about these moments where... And as, I, I understand what you're saying. That I mean, you're basically saying, like, yeah, all the people that have lines in the sand that have to do with when an ideology has been... Uh, uh, transgressed, they don't give a fuck about the people that live 20 yards from them, and they don't give a fuck about what's going on in, in, in their real life, and they could they could be like Jim Carrey and Yes Man and start d- d- changing their lives completely and uh, d- d- disrupting everything the, in their comfort zone, and I, it, it I, all of that is true, but there's. It's also really easy to get like 50 million people to just like open their windows and say, "I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore." And sometimes that needs to happen as well. Certainly, but let's fight an economic battle with economics. I think that definitely we need to avail ourselves more of like boycotting based tactics than we have been because that's, for, that's very powerful for, and for people kind of shame that's, you for that's it. That's where the that's where the battleground has. Has sure. moved. We we now have no fucking legal recourse. We, we the net neutrality is now going to be a financial game. It's going to be about boycotts and all this shit. But it, 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 Trump firing Mueller is like it's 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 fucking it's a real it's a home invasion of everyone's home from by one guy who's saying I don't want checks and balances. I don't want three branches. I don't want. Uh, any, any any of the Constitution to apply to me, I want to be an autocrat, uh, 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 say nothing if that's fine, and, and by the way, just drink your eggnog because I'm going to do it on the fucking 22nd of December while everyone's gone. Like, if he does that and everyone just hangs out, I'm not going to take that as a sign that we're going to help the local YMCA or anything. Like, I don't think I, I'm going to take that as a sign that we've given up, and so is him, uh, and, and whatever the fuck he's representing, whatever evil cloud is in his is, is guiding him with the, the power of Mordor, like like I we 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 have to. I, I, it's it's the one thing we've been waiting for. It's just like, will you just would you just, would you just submit to due process? Will you let us frisk you? You you won't let you won't fucking like submit. Like like just say. I'm a crooked person. I'm a criminal. I like I have my fingers in dirty pies yeah. and then say, but I'm a businessman or whatever and defend it. He's been lying and fucking putting it off for so long and try and, and like I just I like I, I, all right. All right. Well, whatever. We, 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 still, we, we, we set our piece. We're talking yeah. to circles. Yeah, I'm still on the uplift. I just I recognize which battle. And how, maybe how we should fight it. I my, recognize my which battle I and I alone. <laughs> And all of you, uh, yeah, I RSVP to that stupid thing, and I'm showing up. They text me and they go, "He just fired Miller." I'm gonna go like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not going down there with a with a bat or anything. I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go down there and eat some spaghetti uh, that I bring in a thermos, and and and, and then I'm gonna be like, I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Nothing. And then maybe I'll just like, I'll just lay down and eat grass until I die. I don't know. Like I I I just I don't want to make plans for after that day. <sighs> He can't do this. I know. I know. But we got this. 
We still got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Uh, let's lighten things up a little with a visit from Socialist Santa Claus. <laughs> He's a Socialist Santa's here. Santa. Hello. I, g- I gave my hat to someone with a colder head. Oh, Santa. Uh, so when I needed it more. Um, Typical. Can... Can I talk about Robert Mueller for a second? Yeah, of course. Can I? Um, Are you going to take my side a little bit? Make um, me feel a little oh, bit better? Oh, look at that! <laughs> it doesn't sound like um, it. <laughs> so I think there's All another right. side, right? I think... Uh, a third side? There's a third great. side. I think there's only two sides. <laughs> uh, I think there's a side that um, it doesn't matter. That the investigation trying to pin Trump on a technicality, right, is what the Democrats want to do more than anything because then you look at it and you go, aha, I got him, and now he has to resign because I got him. And what Trump does is he goes, no, you didn't get me. And, and legally speaking, right, like, no, you didn't get me does not hold up in court. <laughs> but when the only recourse is, like, being impeached by the Republicans that control Congress, no, you didn't get me kind of wins. Right. So we're never going to get him on a technicality if he refuses to acknowledge the technicality. Is it a technicality to say, hey, Russia, do you want to have a conference about rigging this election? And then Russia says, here's some data you can use to rig this election. Yeah, because, like, we do it all the time. But that's okay. So then those countries that we do that with, with have every right to engage us in the court of law. What that is is against the law. And in theory, that's not a technicality. That's just the law being executed. It's, it's what, what presidential candidate before this moment in history has ever been caught red-handed actually conspiring with the intelligence of, dur- during an election, the uh, intelligence from a foreign, hostile foreign power uh, in order to beat their domestic enemy in an election? I mean, there's the story of Kissinger and Nixon during the Vietnam War, the two of them. Uh, Kissinger, I believe, was working... Uh, for uh, Johnson at the time, and Nixon was a candidate, and it looked like there was going to be peace in Vietnam. They were going to sign a peace accord where it would be like, hey, Vietnam, that war is going to be done. And then uh, Nixon and Kissinger kind of pulled a little fast one and caused a whoopsie in Vietnam that made the war keep going because Nixon knew that he'd win if his opponent didn't stop the war. So the war was good for his campaign, and it came out in papers later, and, and you know, because Nixon fucking taped everything. It came out in papers later because Nixon fucking taped everything. Yeah. That's the thing. But he didn't get away with it. I, or rather, he got away with it. He didn't get caught on this thing. Right, because... And Bush we, didn't get caught because he turned himself in. So when they came to Bush with dirt, he went to the FBI. I mean, we're breaking elections... Uh, I- against our own people with voter suppression and that kind of shit. Yes, we are, but yeah, th- you guys are going, you guys are taking such a wide scope in order to yeah. re- d- d- refute a, a really, really like specific thing here. This guy is real under thing. investigation for an actual crime. To to uh, if, if we sit up here and read read a book about uh, from Noam Chomsky about how how we're we, America is the foremost enemy of democracy across the planet. I have no argument with that, but but that. But this is this is a this is a politician who is basically openly making a play to change the margins ever more of of politics and what's allowed including the fact that when you are running for president in our country it's okay to engage in treasonous behavior as because the end justifies the means and once you're in the oval office then you can say i don't give a shit and it'll it'll go round around and you guys your argument is basically it's uh, uh, America's poopy, and and it's kind of happened before with our most horrible presidents during our most horrible times in history. Therefore, let's you know, it's fine I, you know we can care about this and hand out blankets. Like, like I, I know I, I'm not doing either, but yeah, it's not that. It's that I feel like once we fucked up, we fucked up. That that's the situation. But that's that's all election systems. The in or not all. That's all of our election systems. If you've comes out, you rig an election. The result isn't that the 
the runner up is then installed. Right. The result is that someone gets a punitive action and then those courts or those districts or something changes structurally generally. That's what you can yeah, hope and for. And he, if he has to say, no, I didn't do that, well, we hold up an x-ray of him doing that and and it still doesn't get him thrown in jail or replaced with a with an Amazon drone for president. I It's still important, an important part of the process to go, Mikey, did you do is this yes. a photo of you taking a shit on, in the living room and let the little piece of shit say no it's not so everything goes on the bulletin boards i i i, I many, can't i, I can't times? imagine like justifying not being invested in 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 these in these moments i i understand the argument that if you guys were to say this is a circus that's directing your attention and energy away from something else i think that's but true the, but i think it's it's a distraction that's a real important distraction. Well, let's let's talk about what the outcome would be, right? Like a potential uh, investigation. That, and now this is, uh, I have an opinion that I don't think is going to be very popular, but I feel like uh, if there's going to be a Republican president, it better fucking be Donald Trump. Because to me, I look at Donald Trump and I see 90 to 95% of what any Republican would do, five to ten percent of like rancid, uh, whipped cheese filling or whatever that he brings to the table. Uh, but fundamentally, he's such a gross ogre that all of the normal Republican things that he does, people are like, oh, this sucks, and he's bad. <clears throat> yeah, but the reason he's a gross ogre is because he's making an open play for a shift toward something called autocracy instead of where we've been mired in a sort of openly hip hypocritical, illusory form of checks and balances. I mean, the guys that have occupied his position, maybe they're autocrats in bureaucratic clothing, but they're not actually just standing up in front of Boy Scout rallies and saying, I wish there was less people in Congress so I could fuck more girls. I, I, like, like he is a third world leader who, is, who has risen through a fascist movement that has been, pos you know, has been provoked and made possible through like in insidious means. And I'm not one of these people that goes, oh, because if a Russian t uh, tweets a meme that says Pepe the Frog thinks Hillary's a kind that, that and, and then you win the election that way, that that means they have the election that means we're stupid and we deserve what we get but this guy knew about it and played ball with it and thought it was funny and thought that it was what he deserves because he's a sociopath and a 90 IQ fucking horrible monster just like the presidents that people get in the countries where we so successfully suppress democracy that you end up with a fucking animal leading the people and it's hypocritical of me it's to the point where my voice is changing <laughs> but 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 I I don't want to live in a country the the kind of which we create all around the planet right well so here's the question right and I think it goes exactly to your point where you said uh, that there was sort of the autocrat and bureaucrats clothing or the plain faced autocrat and my question to you is which one is better seeing your enemy for who they really are or letting them hide and get away with it and style wise the one's better where you can see the wolf for the wolf but we're talking about a coup here we're talking about we're talking about people saying would it be okay america now that you're good and fat and scared and stupid and armed to the teeth and xenophobic and unemployed and fucking confused and have all uh, have iphones in your pockets would it be okay everyone now that most of you think that new year's eve is is it means that america's 2000 years old uh, <laughs> uh and all these things that demoralize us when we find out how fucking stupid we all are would it be okay with you guys as long as everyone's everything's good and stupid and lazy and fearful and sad if we just shift towards the open-faced version of the closed-faced sandwich we were already eating, is that okay with everybody? And you're saying, yes, it is because it, 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 because it's like you knew the shit sandwich was already shit, but that doesn't mean the guy saying, is it cool if I just start calling it rape while I rape? Like, saying yes doesn't mean you're protecting people. It doesn't mean that your you, your value system is better. It just means that you, the cynicism is eaten away at you unless there's, like, an alternative plan, which I know that you guys are, I think you guys are street-level, think, you know, act locally kind of minds that are, like, you know, you're more right than me. I know you are, but but... 
I, I because we should basically if I took the you know the, the 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 collective of what you two are saying I would you know it's like let's stop r r even glancing at People magazine when we check out w at the grocery store maybe let's try to grow our own food um, let's definitely not get on the internet uh, tell people that want to get in touch with you that they can put a uh, duct tape on your driveway and you'll you'll come down there and leave a <laughs> potted plant on a tortoise and, and I did that one time and you won't <laughs> you will not let it it's so hard to book you uh, the 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 I, I, I that, that sounds pure that sounds like I'm. I, I drifted into. I'm, that's not. That's me riffing absurdly. That's not right. me characterizing you guys as being ludites and and backwards and ineffective. Tortoise lovers. Uh, uh, I was just. That's just me riffing about like 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 how do you unplug from the fucking system when it's so um, pervasive, but like that the solution would be unplug from the system and truly look at the world around you and start acting and then and and let the example that you live with your life uh, start inspiring people to do the same. And there will probably fire will catch, you know, yeah. if it's if it's fire, I worth guarantee catching. it. If it's not fire worth catching, fuck it. Then you lived your life happy and effectively until doomsday happened. And if it but if it is worth catching, it's not going to catch by you signing into move on dot org and RSVPing to a thing that texts you when it's convenient to drop off the kids and show up for a sit in. Right. I, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> I really I, should start a business. That's what you guys yeah, are that saying. Be start a business. It's like a, I, a, a child watch <laughs> thing for <laughs> protests. Right. I mean, yeah. that's essentially what they've created they created a they created a list that you can rsvp to because they want you know so that we can create a a, a nationwide t within 24 hour rapid response however symbolic to this event that the attempt on the enemy's part is to just let it happen and and you're 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 nothing it's not it's invisible it just happens and nothing happens because you can't do anything and we just we just we're just girding our loins because we at least want to say called it we called this like don't fucking do it maybe it's important at least just to take that posture and just stand over that plate of cookies and look at that little sociopath uh, with the chocolate all over his face and the dog's leg in his back pocket and go I'm watching you Toby I'm not your parent but your fucking mom shouldn't have brought you here and you're you 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 you, you watch too much television or, <laughs> well, so I think I or, think or, there's multiple choices. Well, no, so I think that you you bring up like a good point, like the desire, the intense desire to be like you're fucking wrong. Everybody knows you're wrong. You're a fucking asshole, and and I hate you. And everybody deserves to watch you fucking your pants fall down around your ankles and you to trip and fall off a bridge. We all want to see that. But my thing is like, let's look at power. Let's look at materially how these things affect us. If Trump is forced to resign and Mike Pence becomes president, materially our lives aren't going to be that much different. Now, we're not going to be bombarded by psychic hatred and grotesque awfulness from the news all the time because Mike That Pence sounds really, really nice. It but sounds really wait, nice. Wait, like, our lives are going to be different our, because Pence has positions that are worse than Trump's. Pence does have some positions that are far worse than Trump as far as his, his actual belief of his own religious zealotry like leads to some really crazy shit. Uh, and you saw like an AIDS breakout in Indiana, which makes no sense because nobody fucks there. Uh, and then th that's just how bad of a governor he was. Uh, Says it on the license plate. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but like materially... What can, where can we, uh, we're only strong when we come together, right? We're only strong when we come together, collective power. Like, uh, any of us individually can't do shit. That's like the, the net neutrality thing, right? And, and I also disagree. I don't think we can do just like boycotts or like economically based. We need to look at how power is leveraged and how we coming together. I think the Women's March is really good because it allowed a bunch of people to come together and go, hey, you want to fight for this? I want to fight for this. Let's like get to know each other and figure this out. So the next time there's a mass movement, there are demands that we all agree on Together. But they didn't raise no money, did they? See, here's the thing. <laughs> Had they raised some money that day for like any female charity, I might be super impressed. But like money, I am one impressed. Thing. I'm impressed by us all showing up, but I'm getting real tired of us trying to buy our way out of the shit by sending somebody to a broken ass Congress or to a broken political system. Well, we know goddamn well that if we had sent, spent five bucks on the motherfucker next to us, we wouldn't be in this situation. That is, at the end of the day, the thing that you can do. You mm. get as mad as you want to about court systems and Congress and the political sphere and the president and the fact that third party voters did this and the Republicans did that. Or you can actually reach down, make sure the motherfucker within, who's right in front of you is eating. Had we done that in the first place, we wouldn't be victims. 
But now they're trying to scare us. Every week they come out with, I'm moving this to Jerusalem. I'm doing this shit. They ain't doing half the shit they're telling us they're going to do, and they got us scared. You don't scare me by telling me you're about to pull the cord on my motherfucking internet. You scare me when you're at my front door. I think they will be at our front door soon. So when I look at all this internet shit, I'm like, you are joking that we're upset about it. FBI, Russia, motherfucker, they killing more black dudes every fucking month this year. You talking to me about Russia. Y'all motherfuckers can't even get one white dude and you killing black people innocently and I'm supposed to be upset about Mueller? I know what's coming. I know exactly what the fuck is coming and it's not gonna be internet neutrality shit. It's not gonna be FBI shit. My, my ass is close to getting rounded the fuck up. So when I look at the big picture, I, I don't care who y'all got in the White House if you motherfuckers don't pull the boot off my neck. And my voice just cracked, too. <laughs> Plus, we're all wearing ridiculous things on our heads. <laughs> you can, it's really hard to tell. You can, you, can, you can see mine, and I can see yours, but we can't see our own. <laughs> and you're like, there's a clip of you with the radio. Motherfucker, tell me what the... Because <laughs> we out here trying to fly for Santa. Uh, Rudolph not, is drunk. <laughs> not to detract from that, that was very well said. Uh, you know, I, you, I, 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 don't, I don't see. I, 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 I'm not gonna. I feel like I diminish what you just said uh, by saying I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I, got, I, I don't, I don't, I, it, I, it waters it down for me to say I get it. Like I don't fucking get all of it. I, I. I, I get that I don't get it when you talk like that. Um, I, I, I get that, that there is a bigger picture here. I, I, I always, like, from the very beginning, like, you know, the day after the election, you know, a huge part of the wallpaper in this redecorated room was, you know, okay, white people who have never complained about anything except for maybe that SpongeBob's movie wasn't, had, had, had you know, uh, uh, anti-feminist overtones in the th second act that the, 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 the frozen girl's skirt was too slit when she sang actually that's an opinion of mine I think it's a, <laughs> find that a very very disempowering film um, uh, just high heels and sequins and it's just a let, let, let what go she's let nothing go Yeah, Ugh. she can barely walk it's freezing and the ice is like everywhere how can you walk in heels like I, the, the, I, those shoes have one purpose okay to make your ass look better for me that's it you can't tell me that you're, you're by yourself and you're running around in those heels right let it go. <laughs> Let it go, girls. Let it go. Put on some sensible Uggs that I can really get turned on by. Maybe some tights. <laughs> um, yeah, I, the deck is loaded. I'm so, just, I just, I, I just that, don't find high heels attractive. Um, the, the, the. Uh, all right. So, so, so. To, God damn it! What did I do there? Uh, the, 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 the. It was. It was always about like. Uh, you know. It, it, we joked about it. I mean, nobody was it, but it was like basically the general, the very, very like joking way to put it was like, you know what? We're on the bench at this point. Like, like you speaking on behalf of black people, like, like your turn. Like, let's see what you're gonna do if you're really that upset about this. And that's what I said. What you gonna do? And 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 it's been a year, and we don't do a lot. Not not a lot. Not a lot has changed. Motherfuckers say they want to do shit. We're, it's like we're getting, we, we, got, we, got our, we got our shorts on, and it's like our, you can see the tan lines from, from like, because we'd never wear shorts. And then we're like, we're like, we're, we're obsessed with things like whistles, and like, we, we don't, we, we, we're, we're trying to get the referee to. There's a lot of stretches that, I mean, we haven't played in a really long <laughs> right. time. We've been on the bench and for that, a while. And that's true. It's hard to mobilize. I or whatever it, the version of the bench is, the box, the fucking box where you run yeah. the game. Well, that's right? what yoga you, is. Okay. It's us stretching, getting ready for the race war. And it's just like constantly, we're just stretching. We're like, we're, we're going to get, we're going to be in the right uh, physical stature to, you know, fight the drones. Perhaps we could expound on my uh, unfortunate professional sports metaphors for uh, ethnic demographics uh, <laughs> by bringing up our ghost of Christmas past. What? It's, Ooh. I hear it on the rooftop. I hear strange, mysterious clickings and tappings. Could it be. De Mohorge Brown. What? What? what a Christmas episode. He was making the clicking and tapping. Clapping, clapping, clapping. Yeah. Oh, Hi. yeah. Hello, Hello. Demorge. Hi. How are you, Demorge Brown? I'm so good to see fine. you, buddy. Good to see you, man. I haven't seen you in a long time. Too long. Too long. That you look so, so, so distinguished. Really? I wish this? I could. I wish I could bring it in like that. With the red shirt. Oh, it was the fist. Yeah. Where Where have you been? 
<laughs> I don't think we tell him where we told him where we went. To, yeah, oh, did we? Yeah, <laughs> I just went going. <laughs> he kept going, going to, to Melbourne yeah. Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for the fans. You just keep showing up at Meltdown. <laughs> I bring a bag of lunch. <laughs> and, uh, it's my food. Uh, no, 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 no. I just... Uh, I worked on a short film a long time ago, which actually just came out. And the preparation for it started right before the last time that I did the show. And it was probably about three and a half weeks worth of prep. Uh, and then shooting the film took about a week, two weeks. Um, and then from there, yeah. How was, was it? it? How was what? Shooting. Shooting was great. Uh, the film's called... Uh, I, I was, was there, there too. too. Yeah, with Joey Izzo. And it's, it's, a, it's a short film. It's a, it just came out this week is short of the week. And it's on No Budge, Kentucky Radley's, NoBudge.com, that kind of stuff. So that's Joey's started, great. Yeah. DeMorge is great in it. Oh, oh awesome. All right. We'll, we'll check it out then. I just <laughs> wanted to get it vetted. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like... It, I mean, that started a run of just sort of... Uh, you were like, well, once you, I'm stuff. sure once you're claiming away your from this place back. for three weeks, you're like, why am I? Go- what am I? What was I doing? <laughs> like, get my Sundays back. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, I mean, if I took a couple breaks from, from the show, I'd, I'd definitely be like, yeah. What? Well, if, if I waited until I'm I was ready to do with, the show, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, what the guest, the last guest was somebody who was incredibly important to me in my life. Um, it was, jeez, uh, Norman Lear. It was Norman Lear. That was the last guest. Um, and I wanted desperately to be called up to ask, to talk to him, to even say that or ask him questions or something like that. And I didn't. And I was I didn't get called up until like the very end. I think he had just left. Who was it? It was Norman Lear. Was it really? Oh, it was, it was really Norman, Norman Lear. Norman Lear. Was I got to hang out earlier in the wow. green room with him, and it was like devastated. Was, I was just like, "Jeez, man, he, you!" I went. I swarmed him, and he kind of just deflected it with with Jedi sensibility and stuff. And mm-hmm. it was, but it was really fun, and it was great to uh, to have had. So it was sort of. It was a high note of that year. But you were it was it was it was a wound to you to, that that I didn't call you up or or No, it was just uh it was just a disappointment that I didn't get up to, but it, that's not up to you. That's you up were, to, you that's up like, to fate and stuff you, like you that. You were like if I can put try putting words in your mouth and correct me if I'm wrong, you you after that you were like, well, no, I felt like why, the, the, why, why, why am I going? <laughs> if in the best case scenario, like I might not even. End it was up. just weird because there were things he said when you first when you first brought him out and interviewed him that echoed things I said in the first time I'd ever been on Harmontown about like the fact that we don't teach civics and the consequences of that are gonna kick us in the fucking butt. And sure enough, we got to October and and we got kicked in the butt because people thought that this vote was a rubber room, and you know. They could go, oh, <laughs> well, Hillary, guess what? We're going to stick it to you by right. not voting for you. And then. <laughs> like it was like a prom, prom court. Election. Yeah, yeah. It was like some kind of weird, weird ass situation that we can easily sort of jump out of. And, uh, but, um, uh, yeah, but it wasn't, no, it wasn't about that. It was just like, it was just the fate of the day. That was all. I, I thought it was a highlight of my year, really, to have been anywhere around that guy. Just to, uh, Favorite I, Norman Lear stuff? But you did mention not getting called up, like the you're hiring saying, of like, Paul Mooney. Well, I didn't get called. I didn't, get, I didn't get called up to be on the show. So if, in the event of my one of my heroes being <laughs> on the show, if it's possible for me to be stuck in the green room, yeah, then I wasn't trying to assign anything to you. I was just saying, man. I was, but I was in the back one. Come on, man. Come on, put me up there. Put me up there. There weren't <laughs> enough seats. There were enough seats, and that guy fills too. Yeah, uh, and he He's and there was fat. so much to say. Yes. This just Sorry, Norman, Norman Lear's Lear. death. I like the part where I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like that I echoed some of your thoughts. I, I, t- I took that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, it was it was important. Unle- or it was an accusation of biting biting your moves. You say, you're 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 like, did I did I? The court will decide. <laughs> uh, all right. No, well, that's it. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Nothing special. Just working my ass off and really. Well, um, you'd take it. Yeah, you'd taken like breaks before, and then every time you come back, I go, "Where were you? What did I do wrong?" And then it's like the answer's never. You know, it never satisfies my narcissistic like map of the universe. <laughs> like it's some reason of your own. But uh, this was an especially long absence, so I just it yeah. just got to a point where I got. I mean, I'm out here to to be an actor and and to write and direct stuff, and I'm just like trying to. Smack, fill my year. I mean, you know me. I just I fill my year up as much as I can with as much stuff as I can. And I've been working with 
a director because of these I signed a bunch of NDAs so I can't say a whole bunch of shit but there's a director whose next film was coming out he'd won an Oscar and this was his next film and it was just sort of like it's Brett Ratner yeah <laughs> Brett Ratner it's, it's, Brian, it's Brian Singer is a Medea you know <laughs> it's an Eddie Murphy project yeah uh, but it was uh, but it was just like several times over the course of that year to try and, and get his next thing into shape so they could shoot it which they did and then the next thing was like out of that I ended up um working on a thing called the dress up uh, dress up gang on tbs and that took a big chunk of time and so that's it you know that's it it's just really tr- i'm worn out right now at the end of the year like physically worn out just year weary basically well maybe we could put some energy in your christmas pants with a visit from <laughs> <laughs> oh the rudolph of uh, the harmontown sleigh Mr. Rob Schraub, oh, crazy oh, Rob yeah. Schraub. <laughs> what this is a Rob crazy Schraub's guy! Nine hundred and seventy-first appearance on Harmon Town. Crazy Rob Schraub yeah. coming to the show. <laughs> crazy you'll Rob Schraub. Him, <laughs> you'll remember him from Old Man crazy Walking. Crazy Rob Schraub. Old Man Walking. <laughs> He's the man that never stops. Dumpy classic feature film. It's crazy. <clears throat> how are how are you, Rob? Hello, Daniel. What have you been doing during Demorge's absence? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this about me? Oh, I don't know. Just been kind of hanging out, watching a lot of television. <laughs> Spend some quality time with my dog. I've been eating eating a lot of carbs, uh, <laughs> white rice, <laughs> chips, plain. Plain white rice, plain white rice, <laughs> and uh, soda. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Rob Schraub. Yeah. Isn't that isn't that crazy? How do you make rice, Rob? Isn't that crazy? I order it from Eat Twenty Four. Mm. <laughs> you should really get it from Asia. <laughs> That's a I don't know where Eat24 gets it from. <laughs> Maybe they get it from Asia. Mm-mm. I, uh, Asha? Do you share it? Do, do no, you can't have any. No, I, I didn't want to. I just, I just thought maybe... I ate it already. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Eat24 gets it from really inhumane rice farms, <laughs> factory farms. You don't know that. Where the rice is forced to you watch itself... Masturbate. I heard it's not that. inhumane rice farms. It's literally human rice farms. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have a cookie. Is, are you sure that's a vegan one? Ooh, that says regular. Vegan. Yeah. Human rice is good rice. Saved your shit, brother. You got your Thank you. Uh, I almost ate some cruelty. Rob, uh, how did you think the black voters did in Alabama? <laughs> I think, I think you know something. <laughs> I think they did a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> so brave. <laughs> That's my. That, they, did, they did a fantastic oh. job. It was a big election for 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 us. I as I white people studying black people. I'm sure black people are also studying black people too. In the in the in the uh, epilogue no, we of the just election. Know. But it's like there's a, there's just a lot of like white voter black voter talk uh, all over all of the podcasts and and all of the analysis, which is really interesting because the ba- the bad guys are. Are, there's conspiracy theories about buses of of people, and then the and then the. I, I, uh, how, I, do, 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 have, is there a? In case any of you up here are black, I don't see the world through that lens. But uh, <laughs> do, wh- what what was your opinion, of, if any, specific like about the coverage that you heard in the after the Alabama election, like in terms of people like I don't know telling the story. Like, was there anything offensive about it, or is it all like? Uh, no, they did, they did it great. <laughs> <laughs> did, is, is that? Is that a, I'm just like I'm just like 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 listening to I was listening to Pod Save America and listening to their their facts and figures. It just, it's just such a fascinating election because it's like you you couldn't have had any prediction about it that wouldn't if you if you predicted that there was going to be a. A, a measurable victory on either side, then you would have been shocked by the fact that it was like g- g- fucking ping pong ball on top of the net. Yeah. Um, if you predicted ping pong ball on top of the net, um, uh, you know, how does it feel to be that right? Well, we, I mean, look at the precedent that was set before that. I mean, you had in the first Obama election, uh, he steadily gained ground, gained momentum, demonstrated impact, control, grace, um, fought off Hillary even in her weird 
contentious sort of giving up of the of the nomination. And then you get <laughs> you get to this dismount that the Republicans did. They had the election, and this dismount they did, where they had uh, they were <laughs> they theatrically revealed their vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin, and gave her a week to completely fuck that up with I can see Russia, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then uh, the economy fell apart. And that can only be blamed on the administration before it. Uh, and he still barely, if you look at those numbers, barely, barely, barely won that election. And then after four years where they didn't do anything else really to upend what the Democrats have set in motion, he still, you know, I mean, Romney really had to lose that last debate for the numbers to kind of switch around the way they did at the end of that, that second election. But that was all dependent on Romney really screwing that up. So going into this one, in, and, you're, and it's a home court, I mean, you're just, you're in Alabama. So how could that not be a ball on the net sort of victory where you're just standing uh, there? The it's ball, a net court. The like ball you're just on standing the net there victory waiting. was actually like, it, the interpretation is that the ball on the net victory is like a huge, like come from behind, like landslide, like mobilization effort for the, for the left. Now, I didn't see it as a come from behind. I mean, we knew everybody was fighting for one thing uh, in motion, but, but the establishment that they were fighting against was solid, was brick solid and was, there and there was there's no way that was going to be a blowout that was going to be as close as it was we're all it was all execution dependent everybody is over the moon happy with what happened well but not the pedophiles well, we, not pedophiles pedophiles are pretty upset with what happened and we well, also started the drive i don't count them as people <laughs> so in the black community we'd already been familiar with the Moore yeah. and the jones race now for eight months a year like on all your black female friends over 50 on facebook in the states that you're not even in, they were like, you're getting out the conversation, the conversation's being had, people were mobilizing, you know, months ago. So even though the media coverage just got to it, right. it we'd already been like, we, we were voting to save what little we have. In now, the what are and we the only set of numbers do? that meant anything to me were the, the actual percentage polls that were taken on key issues as voted by black women. Which, if you look at it, it was just sort of like, oh, there's no way they're having any of this bullshit. There was no equivocating on that. That was all 97%, 97%, 97%, 97%. No, yes, no, yes, yeah. on those key I issues. can't think of a scenario, a bigger white guilt scenario than like watching this battlefield in the middle of nowhere where there's like one guy is like, I want to fuck girls, little <laughs> girls. And then like the other side is like, take that and their swords are like bouncing off of his pedophile armor and I'm just like watching it going like well this is strategic for us this will eventually inconvenience how much I wipe my ass with dollar bills or but uh and then and then there's like doo -doo -doo -doo, and like like the elves in Lord of the Rings the black voters come over the hill and like and because of that we won we beat a sex offender by one percent it's like a scary USA, moment where you're USA. like, now I'm like, well, we're not going to do anything for the Alabama black families. I am a, just going to take some wild guesses here. Like, I don't think you're elves. I th I <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I think that I have God a feeling that their garbage doesn't get taken out very quickly, that there, that there's probably environmental. Like, like I, I don't know. It's probably like a shitty life that's not, that's probably like a little bit disenfranchised. Or is that, is that uh, whatever? We don't, we don't. There's a cross section of where we are right now, which is to say that in stasis, these numbers are daunting. But in actuality, if you, if you, if you kineticize this thing, we are moving in the right direction. There's no gradient that's going to do that. That's not predictive. So you kind of have to trust that that's where it's going. And but you guys I know. It's not like, I don't think that this country is breeding uh, rednecks at a rate that is commensurate with the way they were breeding them, you know. True. In, in, in the 1970s. Man. You're that's, like, that's well, yeah, saying. you're in total agreement with, with the Nazis. That's a negative slope. <laughs> like, no, yeah, we got to breed faster. They regulated the redneck breeding uh, companies, <laughs> and now they all got to be free range. So you're getting fewer rednecks. And they're more um, expensive. Yeah. <laughs> they're more expensive. You got to pay for all those opiates. And you guys know I don't see your race when I talk to you, right? <laughs> I don't think that your spokesman for... Also, I'm not going to sit here for the mammification of America. <laughs> black women didn't save you. We don't work for you. <laughs> Everybody want to lean over, oh, black women, black women. 94% of that vote was black men. But you still want to be racist even in your compliment. 
<laughs> Four percentage points. And think about that. Think I'm going to agree with the, the reindeer brothers, on my left. All the brothers that weren't incarcerated weren't ex felons. We lose so much of our voting ability yes. to begin with. So for 94 percent to show up, that's pretty. That's pretty damn impressive. Trude off the red nosed reindeer, dude. Hell yeah. I can only run the simulator in my head where if I was part of a group, I could barely be bothered to vote when I was I, it's, it, like, yeah. So it's pretty crazy to be like, oh, what are we fucking like? It's like vote, I'm voting for more peanuts in my shit like <laughs> be, because technically that's nutrition. Like I, I would be. Yeah. All right. Well, we can we can drop all that behind. That's not it's the, it, I, I don't excel when I'm talking about this stuff. I just wanted to mark the, the history of it. Uh, Spencer, how are you doing? Are you uh, don't don't take my cue. Oh. How are you doing? Sorry, I didn't mean motion. to interrupt your... Oh, I thought you were like taking no. the cue that I was bored with the discussion. No, no, no. I, I <laughs> And I was. I accidentally, <laughs> no. I accidentally policed you for texting during the podcast. It's great, and I feel properly policed, <laughs> and I'm never going to pull on my... No, um, how are you guys doing? I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, I've just right. been... Uh, I, I went to the Apple store... To get an iPad fix? Oh, yeah, you had to get my iPad fixed. It was for, great. Because I went to get a four hour deep clean at the dentist, and uh, you guys, you guys, you guys talked to me about privilege. Uh, uh, listen to, yeah. Four hour deep clean. Why? This. What's that look? What's that like? A four that feels great. What's a four hour what deep it? cleaning? What's that like? I, I feel like it's a scam. Like, the more I think about it, the more it, it seems like, like a, you know what you need is four hours of dentistry. Do they yeah, do like, it in really? What, what are they doing to your teeth? For four they used hours. a laser. They put they each of them in a, a hyperbaric laser. chamber, each tooth. They went by quadrants. They did the quadrants. <laughs> That's the way to do it in the mouth. Well, they <laughs> <laughs> they they, the they went they went like they went like one side up down the other side with what? up down. With what? With what? What do you mean with what? Dental DMT. tools? What the fuck? With what? what? <laughs> well, what dental tools? There's a I can't brush. see them. They're in my mouth. Lasers? Uh, well, they use lasers. For four hours, they brushed your teeth. I Here's what we're going to do. In quadrant. I <laughs> we're going to go into all your quadrants, Let's Dan. I brush your teeth Starting with the upper left. For four hours. I asked about one, one tool because it... Did you fall asleep? Did you stay awake? Did I, you read anything? I put a uh, I put a Brian Eno song for, that was 45 minutes long on <laughs> <laughs> on my on my iPad. And you played it four times. Yeah. Did yeah. you really? Well, but until the point where the iPad fell down and the plug that it was plugged into the wall with, the little lightning cable snapped off inside the charging hole oh. for the iPad, oh. rendering it unchargeable. It was bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. And Tweezers. We, oh, no. And when, when I tell you Spencer couldn't get that thing out of there, oh. he really couldn't. We were at a fucking place that has the smallest tools in the world. <laughs> That's Whoa. Oh, and, then, and then you couldn't listen to your Brian Eno. No, he could. But only for a limited but time. Only, right. Yeah. Uh. So for a limited time only. <laughs> yeah, so don't talk to me about privilege. <laughs> four quad quadrants for four hours, Brian Eno, I asked Russian her, motherfucker. I asked her what she was doing for one tool. I can answer your question because there was a smell. There was smoke and a smell. Oh, that's the laser. The, I said, what is that? She said it's a laser. Oh, that's shit. Laser. That's your teeth are disinfecting, dis dis yes. di 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 disinfecting yeah. the gums or something. I, Basically, it's like, you know, my I've gums are all process. fucking piled up and like, you sure. know, filth is part of my teeth. So they, <laughs> they had to like sandblast it and like take uh, f fishing hooks and scrape all of the fucking brown sludge. Uh, that, that there was a, there was a, there was a species of fucking amoeba in there. They, they discovered, I, I guess I'm going to make like 50 grand off of that at <laughs> MIT or something. I, there was, uh, they, they named it after me. There was like a horseshoe crab they found. There was uh, they, they actually found Goodness. evidence that uh, during the Industrial Revolution, so you're saying uh, your teeth were dirty. Were you uh, had some dirty teeth. These are some, these are some dirty gums, folks. <laughs> you had some dirty teeth there. Folks. You're but saying like, your teeth were dirty. When there's that much, I guess there's something about the distance between your teeth. Oh, that shit, you know? So they, they, they the had gap. to fucking sandblast my teeth. It took, I believe it would take four hours. It was, it's been 44 years. Did you brush your clean. teeth? Since I fucking brushed my teeth, basically. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. How's it feel? Yeah. Feels good. Feels amazing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gonna yeah. do it again? Yeah. In 44 more years. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's why, like, Cody said, you're not going to brush your teeth like, 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 later that night. I'm like, I just found out I can go 44 years. <laughs> do, you, do you mouthwash or gum? Do I mouthwash <laughs> my gum? Do you do mouthwash or chew gum 
So your breath doesn't smell like turds. Or as Straub would say, do you mouthwash or gum? <laughs> do you mouthwash with gum? <laughs> I don't. I well, I brush my teeth in the morning. Okay. Great. <laughs> End of story. That's it. We're done. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not a picture of or, oral two. health. Like I, I admit it. Like I don't want women to see inside my mouth. I, I don't got, think they would marry me if I they got did. shot in the eye with a laser on Friday. And at uh, his dentist? Yeah, at the dentist. No. Because <laughs> when he just walks into the dental room, like, yeah, she was like, shooting you get LASIK? Him. You get some LASIK? Uh, not on purpose. Um, no, I went to the physical therapist and they have a laser therapy by where they strap a laser onto a part of your body and shoot it with lasers. What? And um, I think this is a game we played in the 80s. The strap was loose and it came loose and I saw it coming loose and I saw it in the sense that it came loose and shot a laser into my eye <laughs> before I realized I should look away and not look at it. And then I, I fixed it. But I was like, I don't I was so embarrassed. Like I didn't want to tell anyone. And it was like bad. I mean, it was like my eye started hurting and like it was definitely like when you look at the sun or whatever and you get like a vision splotch. It was like I was like, no good. I was like, man, this would be amazing if I have to get an eye patch from this. But I think I'll be okay. But it was bad. It was like it was hurting for about two days. Whoa! It's is this, fine today. Is this the place that cupped you? No, no. This is a, a physical a cat therapist. Scan? Oh. Cupped you? Uh, no, not a cat. Just, uh, just uh, lasers. Oh, uh, what are they using? He's talking lasers? about cupping. Like they're they using lasers to like yeah, measure your posture. Or no, it's a uh, it's cupping? a it's a form of therapy. Yeah, they they process. shoot it with lasers. I think the idea is it stimulates the tissue. But the thing is, a medical laser is a stronger laser than normal lasers, and it was in the, the medical lasers that they use to affect your tissue are the exact radiation or wavelength that's the worst for eyes. Mm. So you're going to have one Hulk eye. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be, it's going to turn green and stuff. His, oh, his, his eye, if it has to save its eyes, baby, well, it could lift a car. Um, the, 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 I just I just don't understand lasers that hit your skin and then they're like stimulating the tissue underneath it. But well, they go through. Can you explain this to me though, because my friend does this. What? Uh, my friend does cupping, uh-huh. and then she comes cupping. out and she goes and she shows you shows me her back or whatever, and they're just they're rings like bruises. Yeah, like these bruise rings that last. I talk bit. about cupping, but I don't want to be cyber bullied. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Question with Don. Well, Demorge is just, just le- uh, he's just trying to leave a paper trail for his. <laughs> Is it, oh, no, it's oh, a crazy thing. Oh, did your did your you talk to a girl and she she got cupped so she had bruises uh, all over? Oh, I failed a cup. I just I don't I didn't understand. I don't understand. It does I don't know what it's 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 pseudo cups every day. Of course he does. Yeah, he was supposed to, to uh, engage your lymphatic system. Supposedly, uh, it sort of pulls the toxins to the surface of the skin. Right, then oh, so your like lymphatic like system kind of ex- gets rid of them. Because but how yeah. sounds like leeches? How does a I'm, laser? How does a laser? I don't understand that. A Electromagnetic radiation l- goes through okay. most objects generally. So I think it's in a wavelength that is thin enough or wide enough to go through your okay. tissues. And doing so, it's like a low rate way microwave. And so I think it just damages the muscles and then that stimulates them enough to uh, Dope. regrow or Got whatever. That's it. the understanding. I don't know. It seems like it's supposed to be kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Isn't that just what walking does? I think a lot of stuff does that. It strengthens your muscles. <laughs> so like you don't need weight. to do lasers. I mean, it's physical therapy. I just want to know whether or not I should get lasers on my body. Or I mean, you can buy a laser machine for yourself for a couple thousand dollars and do it. And I think you really roid out. Hell yeah, dude. But you might go blind. <laughs> Has anyone the laser guy already? Does anyone have that as their identity? Not me. I, I might try it out in the new year. You mean like in the Marvel universe? No, in the oh. real universe. All right. Right, not yeah. in the real universe. Self cup. Yeah. Uh, oh, man. Not, if no I could self cup, I'd never leave the house. No one has seen new Star Wars? I have nope. seen it. Uh, nope. No. I have seen it. What do you. I love it. Any cup? You loved it. I fucking loved it. What Ooh. about those porgs? What about you guys? Those porgs. What We're about this Star Trek Quentin porg. Tarantino movie everyone's talking about? I hope mm. there's porgs in it. <laughs> Haven't heard of it. Did you know when a dog sits and does that <laughs> thing with its hind legs? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, no, it's related. That's called a sploot. A sploot. Wait, when they lay on their belly and when, their legs, yeah, their legs and, go and back. their back legs yeah. look like a chicken, a like, like a like a chicken on a, a plate. A sploot. I like it. Corgis. I like it. 
corgis do it. It's called sp- splooting, or is splooting. it just called engaging in a splooting sploot? Splooting around. All right. Well, so yeah, but it's, it was related to the dogs, porg so. thing. Rob, you can't. Porg sploot in the movie. Yeah. I'm All right. Well, yeah. Well, so, what, so the, is it, isn't this the last Star Wars movie? Are they going to keep making? Yeah. It no, more? this is the last one. Okay, They're done. Great. All right. <laughs> Steve is upset. Never. I I I I watch people. I'm not I'm I'm not in any. I don't judge anything at all. Any. I'm I'm about to turn 45, and I'm 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 just. I find it fascinating that Star Wars has gotten to this place where it's just like this crazy. It's gotten really popular. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when it was just this cult thing that just a few of us like. Now everybody likes Star Wars. <laughs> I, remember, I was walking down the street and I saw a little kid with a Star Wars t-shirt on. <laughs> when was the last time this happened? <laughs> it's I eat it. Uh, well, I didn't... I, that's not what I was saying. <laughs> I was just talking about how it used to be... It was just a cultural like thing that it just kind of had a monolithic face to it. It was like, ah, eh, that's the Star Wars movies. They come out every six years and they... They're kind of unquestionable, and you can p- pick and moan about whether you liked Empire or Star Wars better. And now, now it's just this crazy, weird, like Lego-like universe where there's like one-offs and 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 guest directors, and I, I, it's all called Star Wars, and it's like amazing because it's the thing I gave the most shit about ever. And and I also have never seen a Transformers movie, and there's like nine of those, and I sh- I, I I really loved Transformers. Have you seen a new one? I haven't seen any Transformers movie ever. No, the new uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Also, no, I haven't seen the new one because I don't even know. What you should do, honestly, is see the last Transformers movie because the- that was the biggest piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I keep and waiting it, for the but last one. You. <laughs> wait, wait. I mean, I don't, no, no, I'm sorry. This is a dumb play on words. What, what is your? What's your? The last one was amazing. Well, I make it like every summer. I do a thing where I just go see a bad movie a week because it's you know summer's loaded with them. And I go to I usually go to the Highland Theater just because families come and they go and they're the most responsive audience in the world. And <laughs> that last Transformers movie was crazy. And then like right when we get to the point where, are you talking about the la- What do you mean when you say the last one? There's one that just came out and there's this the- summer, the one that just <laughs> came out, Bless right you. in okay. July or June or July or it's whatever. called the Stop. the Lonely Jedi. What's it's it's yeah. the, yeah. the last Transformers movie? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the last Transformers movie. I'm talking about the last Transformers. Okay, movie. all right. Yeah. No, I haven't seen it. Which Transformer <laughs> movie are we talking about? The last, the Transformer. last one. Oh, okay. okay, all right. This yeah, one July. is b- just it just it's just crazy. There's nine thousand elements in it. None of which get a full, complete circle, like narrative dealing, and then they just kind of mark these moments by chaos, 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 and then Wahlberg comes in and says, "Oh my God, you guys gotta get over here, come and see this." And then they'll like cut, <laughs> but then 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 they'll, then they'll cut to Anthony Hopkins who just walk out of nowhere and kind of just like long ago, several years ago, Merlin. I mean, this movie opens with. It opens with Merlin. Merlin what? is riding a horse. What? Merlin is riding a horse and he's fucking hammered. <laughs> and he stops the horse and then takes a swig. Oh, he stops the horse and he looks into the camera and says, I'm sozzled. And then he pulls a <laughs> bottle out and drinks from it and then rides up an evergreen cliff to a cave in Ireland somewhere where there is an original Transformer crashed and injured. <laughs> like it's just, that's where it starts. Does he throw his bottle down and go like, wait, so wee, wee. wait, why, we, we he, why does that. he break the fourth wall? What's he doing? Because he's so a, sozzled. The movie is bad. <laughs> it's sozzled. It's a he really bad looks shit, right at the movie. camera. There's an arcade. Of, there's an arcade of trees like this, and he's just riding down with the horse, and for no reason stops the horse. And then you're like, why would you stop the horse? And that's when he looks and he goes, I'm sozzled. And then he pours a drink out. And you didn't see it was the catchphrase. There. <laughs> there was there was all the I'm sozzled shirts and the sozzled. And this goes on, but this goes on for the whole length of the movie and then there's a there's like a I mean there's a cold open oh, term but I guess there's like a close like an ad, like oh, an no. addendum at the end <laughs> Shrav if you if you need to go you can go Shrav came to the podcast he's sick fine. Uh, he's a little under the weather um, Jesus he's a little sizzled <laughs> it, it, but you, you, can, you don't have to uh, you, why you gotta sit next to me? Uh-huh. 
Uh, all right. So note to Let's self. Let's shuffle like, the I, order of the I, guests. I would, I would, I would say see that. But also, Last Jedi I loved. And I, I have an activity it. we can play for Christmas. Yes! Uh, so, Socialist Santa has brought uh, some games. Some, yes. Uh, some, some, some games. Yes. So Actually, I will leave. <laughs> <laughs> but you are... Well, Shrub doesn't like games. That's why it's Burr. not that he doesn't like Santa or socialism. Yeah. You can come back whenever. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. So basically th- what I was thinking of when I came up with these games is that we're all going to be with our families and talking about politics, and that's going to suck and lead to a bunch of arguments. And so why don't we turn it into a game? Okay. Because people love games. Jimmy Fallon loves games. <laughs> so let's all be a little more like Jimmy Fallon this holiday season. Yeah. Uh, and and so... Uh, and I can get a jump on my New Year's resolution. Yeah, doing a bunch of Coke and drinking a lot. Um, so that's like well known, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Fallon's a sad person. Anyway, uh, this first game we're going to play is called... Pot strain or horrifying government operation code name. Awesome. And the way this game's work, the way this game works is I'm gonna name a thing, and it is either a pot strain or uh, a possible war crime, and you have to tell me the difference. Okay. And so you can get bonus points if you've actually smoked the weed in question. Oh. Okay. That's honor system. Uh, or if you guess what the uh, operation was about. Okay. Okay. okay? And uh, here we go. Starting with number one, Asian fantasy. <laughs> Asian fantasy. <laughs> How do we buzz in or whatever? I think you just did. Government. Incorrect. Damn. It is a pot strain. Uh, let's do another one. All American tiger. Government uh, operation. That is correct. Oh, this, is gr- this game Damn. is great. It was to capture Saddam Hussein lookalikes. Uh, which that name, All American Tiger, totally makes sense because Saddam Hussein was on the cover of Tiger Beat. Uh, the next Wait, one. I want to know more about that operation. They're trying to ra- why were they, were they trying to round up lookalikes of Saddam Hussein I- here in the states so that we could drop them on <laughs> Iraq and confuse everyone? I <laughs> say, please say a musical. Please I say a musical. <laughs> <laughs> it was a musical honey pot. Yes! That's exactly what it was. They trained them how to sing and dance, and then they wanted them to... Con- no, it was to round up all his lookalikes in Iraq uh, to make sure that they weren't him. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. it was- so, so in other words, w- if he did have 50 lookalikes deployed, then that operation that we gave a fancy name to was just really operation his operation is working. Yes, 100%. <laughs> it's it is operation. There are too many guys that look like Saddam yeah. Hussein. <laughs> We're just playing the Captain Crunch contest <laughs> with him. Like, like oh, let's, there's another one. Let's grab him and spend time on this. I imagine that that, um, that mission involved like a CIA guy going like with to two Saddams, and the Saddam's like, it can't be me. I can't be the real Saddam. I don't know this. <laughs> like, it was like a Washington Post reporter has two of them cornered in a hotel lobby, and he's like, Ron, it's me. I was at your bar mitzvah. Remember? I'm the only one that will remember you have that mole on the inside of your leg. <laughs> uh, okay, next one. I don't uh, want any emails about my Iraqi accent. Uh, <laughs> I think it was tasteful. <laughs> uh, white rhino. <laughs> That's definitely That's a weed. weed I've smoked, yeah. Bonus yeah. points. That is definitely too, a weed. Though. Bonus yeah. points. You must have smoked that, too. This yeah. is a socialist yeah. game, so there are no winners or losers. We all get the same amount of prizes. Right. Yeah. Wait, well, right. we should all even out our points eventually, right? Right. right? We just redistribute the points right. to those who don't have as many. A hundred percent. And I wish at midnight would have done the same. Maybe White, still White be Rhino is named that because it seems dangerous before you try it, but it's only uh, charging at you to get a closer look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, all right. Or, or, this st- one. or stamp out your campfire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next one. Viking snatch. <laughs> Uh, government government uh, operation. Yeah, government and, operation. And what do we, th- that is correct? Yeah. And what do you think it was? It was uh, rounding up a bunch of Vikings. <laughs> it was. Uh, it must have been off the coast of an island. Uh, where navy Navy boats would uh, uh, go around the coast of Cuba and um, look for uh, uh, people trying to get away, uh, pick them up. Uh, hypnotize them into thinking they were happy Cubans and drop them back off uh, and activate them with a code phrase to assassinate Castro. That is actually 100% correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It, they gave Guy Ritchie movies to Iceland. I, I think it was a, a white supremacist infiltration. 
You're the closest. It was to it disrupt was so weapons smuggling by white supremacists. Because white supremacists think they're fucking Vikings. They love Vikings. Uh, yeah. Viking snatch. Isn't that yeah. crazy? It's absurd how many like guys that are look like a lowercase letter B think that they're a Viking. They're like, yeah, I got all the same traits. <laughs> uh, next one. Here we go. Uh, this is the last one. Rolling Thunder. Oh, yeah. That one I think I remember hearing. Yeah. That was a that was a government operation. That one I think I remember That's smoking. <laughs> you say it's Gov- a train? Government operation. Folks, it's both. What yeah. the ah. just like in socialism, there's no losers. All right. What? Yeah. Whoa. What was the uh uh rolling what was the government operation? I, all I wrote down in the notes was both bitch oh. in all caps. Hilarious. So I have no idea what that one is. Because you were on the white rhino. Yeah. Um I have another game if you'd like to play. Love games. That one was fast and, and fun. Yeah. Here we go. All right. This game is called Secret Republican, Rape <laughs> Apologist, or Animal Phobia. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so here's how this game works. Now that a reality TV host is president, uh, our, the politics of our nation's most valuable resource, celebs, is more important than ever. Because which one of them might run for president? You know, like any one of them could run for president. So we're vetting. We are now vetting, because if you are a secret Republican and, and you run for Democratic office, you're going to get caught. If you're a rape apologist, you're going to get taken down. And if you're afraid of one specific animal, y'all are going to get roasted. So we're just trying to like clear the herd for 2020. Shout out to Matt Damon. Shout out, Matt Damon. Uh, all right, so here we go. Again, you have to tell me if they hide the fact that they're in the GOP, have publicly defended a rapist, or have a deep-seated fear of a specific animal. Okay. And awesome. I'm going to name a celebrity. Can I get like a little bit of like, like guessing music, maybe? This one's going to be tough because I think we've all Kid publicly Loco. defended Kid a Loco rapist. Kid Loco kind of stuff. <laughs> you know. Man, I used to have the soundtrack for The Price is Right. It was so great. Driving around. Playing that Price is Right music. But then if you like did something wrong <laughs> and you heard... <laughs> I got in a car accident and that yep. happened, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just when you thought it was safe to guess. Just when you thought it was safe <laughs> to like a celebrity. Uh, number one, Adam Sandler. Ooh. Adam S- Sandler. Secret Republican, we right, know this. Yes, Correct. Um, not sure anybody in his circle has raped, so I don't think he's a rape apologist. No, it's just secret public. You're, you're correct. Yeah. And I'd also like to guess the last one. What is it? No, no, it's it's <laughs> animal phobia. Like like stop! Last you're one. No, I'd like to guess the last one. <laughs> See, you rape, like animal rape, phobia. Rape, rape Republican. <laughs> what is the last one? Rape Republican. Republican. Yes, you're right. Correct. He's in the GOP. Animal phobia. Okay. Next. All right. Kristen Stewart. Well, she's got to have an animal phobia because everyone likes her. That's correct. She's afraid of horses. All right. What? Kristen Stewart's afraid horses of horses. Horses are scary. Horses are scary. They will bite you. That's my favorite animal. They'll, they'll, they could do whatever they want to anybody. I mean, I, I also understand. I was thinking a Christian wig. <laughs> no, Kristen Stewart sucks, and she shut down my show, Babe Island, my old comedy show. Well, uh, case two, I, I had your back accidentally. <laughs> okay, uh, wig, you're next. <laughs> Quick, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, oh, we know. Uh, She's Rape the big R.A. Yeah, dude. Rape she yeah. defended Bill Cosby like way yeah. after. And on The View, sure. like maybe The View isn't the right place to talk about Bill Cosby. I don't think we're doing the music the way you imagined us. No, no. I think it was right. That, uh, that, was, that was a peak. The, that was a peak. Maybe The that View is big. not the place to apologize for Bill Cosby. It was the great climax of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I liked how that lined up. Yeah. Uh, I got two more. Let's do it. Katie Holmes. Oh, man. What are the choices? Rape apologist, secret Republican, secret Republican. or animal phobia? Well, we haven't oh. had a rape apologist yet, so I'll take. We'll be no. Goldberg. Super, Super, oh, Super. oh, she. Okay, she defended Bill. Yeah, okay. Secret, right. secret well. Republican. The correct answer is she's afraid of raccoons. Wow. It's because they've Who got thumbs. Isn't? Right, they've got the little hands. They look just like ours. <laughs> The rest of them don't look like us. There's no. only two kinds of people in this world. Uh, people that are afraid of raccoons and people with a distinct raccoon wound right. somewhere <laughs> on their face. Right. Those little fuckers right. are like monkeys yeah. with no conscience. They're monsters. <laughs> they're Razor like street monsters. monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, good. they're monkeys that live in this your backyard. not good. <laughs> street monkeys. <laughs> this is terrible. 
<laughs> yeah, One of those fuckers smoked uh, cigarettes. Is a, 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 a raccoon kept coming in through our doggy door and eating go. the dog food. Uh, it's a, like it, it, raccoons. Uh, I've I've talked about this on podcasts. It's a, when you when you discover a raccoon, when you come upon one, they 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 stare you down. Yeah, they, they just look at you. at you. The skunks do that too, but skunks are freezing and saying, right. are, "Are we going to have to do this? I have things I can do to avoid the conflict." Raccoons are like war boys. What? <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah. they're like, what? Like, uh, what, yeah. do you feel lucky, punk, and all that stuff? Like, they just look at you, and then I, I, I the two times I've encountered a raccoon, I just I hold up my hands, <laughs> show I don't have any weapons, and I back away, and the raccoon just like kind of like elevator looks me and like <laughs> walks away like shaking its hips <laughs> all right anyways scary animal i love that you showed an animal with hands your hands so that you could get out of there safe. yeah <laughs> look you have hands you know i'm not holding a weapon we both but there, but that I, I i'm really scared i i it, it because if you google raccoon dog like like, like the, it's a i got a situation I, I i'm a really irresponsible dog dad i need a lockable doggy door because my dogs are primed to get a uh, fucking face mauling and i feel bad about that yeah and they get big in our neighborhood they're big i think the coyotes ate those raccoons though yeah we we yeah we we we, we i think we eventually kind of we scared them off with coyote pee we hung coyote pee from the from the from the chimney with care <laughs> they just thought you were freaks you're like just why are they the holding coyote. piss i don't want to hang out the yeah why do these people have bags of piss does ed Gein live here we're out of here <laughs> I'm a raccoon, but this is fucking nuts, dude. I'm out of here. I love to eat trash all the time, but this is gross. We tried to set a humane trap. We got a humane trap that like has like a weird door that like you go in and then it closes behind you. We put some food in it. Next morning, the neighbor's cat is in there. <laughs> Fat fucker. Last question. Last one. Ivanka Trump. Oh. Secret Republican. It's definitely a strain of weed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, rape apologist or afraid? <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh. Well, she, uh, she's uh, a rape apologist. I mean, she's she's technically yeah. She's a wait. Is she though? Has she ever actually said? Is she all three? Yeah, she's all three, baby. Ladies she likes to pretend that she's not a Republican, patterns. but she definitely is. She's a rape apologist, and she's afraid of Pokemon. Uh, That's not uh, one animal. That's all animals. All right, so she's only two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. And that's uh, the secret to you fucking Bible. Yay! Yeah. 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 I got a game called the Ham Radio License Exam Practice Test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, you guys want to play that? <laughs> yeah, let's hear some. Spencer's going to get his ham radio license. He's been, ever since the day that we went in to, to the place next door to where it definitely did not take a lot of time to buy my gun. Uh, uh, and we, we've been trying to get Spencer a ham radio license, and it's gun. really, really hard, and he may never get it because it's not a gun. <laughs> right. If it was a gun, this would be over with ages yes, ago. Yes, I have. Ha I've been, my gun has been collecting dust on my shelf for two months, and Spencer is almost done maybe getting his ham radio license. <laughs> <laughs> Get those things on the same it's day. It's really dangerous to have a ham radio. Yeah, think about all the businesses you could negatively impact. <laughs> right, think of the children whose minds you could warp with, you know, all the kids that are on ham radio. <laughs> what if you played music on it? Right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I can't like, get Wi-Fi. Hold on. Keep going. That's Sorry. You, that's because you're not in the fast lane, honky. Yeah, net neutrality <laughs> is happening. <laughs> net neutrality already started, and this was ground zero. Yep. Okay, are you ready for the they first question? They throttled us. Of yeah. course they're going to throttle us first. They heard us. We get fucking people with antlers over here talking about bringing down the <laughs> at curtain. That, at that GOP convention, <laughs> they caught someone on a hot mic saying, yeah, we're already lining up rich conservatives who are going to rig the internet. Oh, boy. Dude, we're in for some time. All I got to say is, here's the thing. I may be a fucking fat, dumb, lazy guy that hasn't studied anything since high school, but here's here's my bird's eye view based on that. The last thing I remember learning is here's the fascism playbook. They they have like a thing. They, they have like a list of shit that they need to do in order to swing a country fascist and take control of it. And one of the top items on the list, which has been the eternal frustration to these pricks, is that because of the internet, you can't do what the first step is, which is just fucking. 
take over the media. You have to be able to black it out and just like control it. You got you can't have a free press and a fascist coup. They don't work together. So uh, it, you know, fascism like like really goes very quickly in in times when you can just go and firebomb a newspaper office, and they haven't been able to do that. Now they're fucking doing it. It concerns me. I don't want to have to find out what I'm made of. You won't. <laughs> you, no, you, maybe you're, you will. You're, you got it. I'm safe, you're, you're saying. It's going to take so long. I'm saying. I'll have my first coronary. You're from good fucking stock. Thank you. You you know this. That's what I'm saying. What are you saying? British. Are you I'm saying, saying when they come for you, you're going to fight and you're going to win, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Or we're all going to die from climate change before they have a chance. You mean good stock like I have a hero in here somewhere? Like I'm like a good person? Are you being my magical yeah. black are you person? from Wisconsin? Is, are you like my mentor? Like, right? like, like, is that a, is that place bullshit? Or do hardy ass people who don't take shit? I mean, what you guys do? I to can't s- beat anybody up. Is that what you're implying? Well, what did you guys do? Didn't you get rid of your governor? I don't know. No. We did some stuff. Yeah, they did. We had like a no. socialist uh, mayor or something. But we keep saying that over and over again. But we're a bunch of Trumpy pumpies. Yeah, but you yeah. used to be blue. I don't know. Yeah, you did. And then you got red. And I bet you, when we look at the big picture, you're gonna be red for a little while. <laughs> but you're gonna be majority time blue. This is a weird way Wisconsin. to pump me up. I, I, Wisconsin. I, I, I Wisconsin. Left, I in you. I left that. We place. believe in you, Wisconsin. <laughs> it's your home. All right, you can't escape it. What is a Part 15 device? A, an unlicensed device that may emit low-powered radio signals on frequencies used by a licensed service. B, a type of test set to use to return. Uh, a type of test set used to determine whether a transmitter is compl- in compliance with FCC regulation 91.15. Oh, it's close. C, ah. a device for long-distance communication using special codes sanctioned by the IARU. And D, a type of amateur radio that can legally be used in the citizen's band. D. I'm going to say C. Uh, I'm going to say D because it had the phrase citizen's band. There we go. I'm going right. to D, 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 D two, part 15. I'm going to say A because I'm taking the test. <laughs> <laughs> there might uh, be. It was A because, yeah, an unlicensed device that may emit low-powered radio signals on frequencies used by a licensed service. Based on my research, this includes walkie-talkies. Oh. Hmm. So is that like kids' walkie-talkies? Yeah, those those operate on amateur radio bands, but they have those privileges even though they're commercial products. How easy are those to hack? Uh, Very I think they're built with. A, I mean, it's easy to make your own radio. I think. I think that's easy enough. But I don't. If you think have like enough Bitcoin. Are, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, these days, okay. if you have enough Bitcoin, there's a lot of Bitcoin in radio, dude. Yeah. There's a lot of money. Are you there. still? Are you still? Are you still eyeing up that Bitcoin? I think I missed the boat. I mean, I don't know. Do you think? Do you think it's here to stay? Do you think it's? I think it's here to stay for long enough to make money off of it. I don't you think, know. It's pretty hard to sell. You think the boat you missed is like buying a big trick. chunk on the ground floor that would make you like like yeah. like wealthy five That's years like, from now, ten years from now. I think one of your writers did something like that. Uh, Matt bought, Roller bought a he bought a he bought Bitcoin early. I think so. Yeah, I think it. he got on the ground floor. A lot of people bought it, but you can't. It's hard to sell. Yeah, That's the game. Yeah, but you 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 buy it and you hang on. Yeah, I mean the game is Bitcoin only becomes valuable if everybody just decides to start using it and you can't do that overnight so it's like yeah you're 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 guessing that it's the cryptocurrency that would prevail there's a lot of a lot of big ifs there it's withstood a lot of challenges that's Pretty one unethical. encouraging thing unethical because it, it keeps uh, poor people don't really have access to Bitcoin. What? I had a what guy about on my Lamar podcast, Austin Wilson? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this other guy. I had a guy on my podcast. I don't see him that way, but I think I heard he was black. And he, I like, told him it was black. He didn't see it. <laughs> he had, he had, he had like he he said the same thing. He said he said yeah. cryptocurrency is inherently. It's just like wait, are we supposed to be restart? We're just we're just gonna restart this inequality thing because black people aren't thinking about fucking Bitcoin. Like this is a chance to 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 change something. And I can't remember. I don't have. And so he had. And then I tuned him out because I'm like, this isn't for me. It was (laughs) an app, and anyone can use it. Yeah, got you on the ground floor. Well, I I like I like to be special in the things I use. So it's a cute concept. There's a lot of histories of bubbles, tulip bubbles. Oh yeah, well it's certainly a a bubble. Currency like 30 years ago. The fuck's a tulip bubble? The first bubble ever was uh, the price of tulips. Oh whoa. People got really into tulips in Holland. And, and tulips they, like threatened to become a currency? Yeah. Well, it was a currency because it was worth so much. But it was crazy because it was inflation just 
overnight people were like paying tons of money for tulip bulbs. So what happened? And it was seasonal. Uh, somebody decided one day, literally, somebody was like, tulip bulbs ain't shit. <laughs> And Excuse were, me, I have something yeah. to say. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. ain't shit. So yeah. someone finally just listened. So then the bubble, so then the bubble burst, and people's tulips weren't worth anything anymore. And then they died, right? Like that's the other problem with like <laughs> flowers as money. Well, I think well, the, bulbs the bulbs last a while. Yeah. Oh. These are the bulbs. Well, I revealed is my that, lack of flower knowledge. No, I thought the same Chicago? thing until they were talking uh, boom bulbs. Chicago is that Boom Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> but cryptocurrencies are superior to all existing currencies <laughs> in that they actually are, even though we look at them as based on nothing, they're more based on something than our current currencies, right? And no. you can vape them. Your current currency has actual, you can trace it to an actual source, like a Federal Reserve Bank, which then would go straight to either gold or silver. They say that they're no longer on the gold or silver, but the truth of the matter is you can still take a dollar and buy gold and silver. And you can do that legally. But you could buy. But do you mean go take a dollar and buy gold and silver like you can buy a Pokemon? You can buy a. I mean, so that that's just that doesn't count as the dollar being backed by something. It does. You're, you're just saying that the dollar is backed by the fact that everyone's using it. That's yeah, the dollar is backed on ultimately backed by faith. But ultimately, the end result is gold. All financial leads to. Gold. So if, if if that is the case, then that means that Bitcoin, from the limited understanding I can I can accomplish of it, I think you know Bitcoin is mathematically guaranteed scarcity, right? So that you can you can actually control. Yes. Uh, th 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 well, th it's built on algorithms that are meant to hopefully control for its expansion. Right. No. Nobody can. Nobody can find out by digging into the center of the earth that the core of the earth is made of Bitcoin and the market collapses. Right. Well, the thing is, you can steal Bitcoins kind of untraceably with some ease. So that's something that it has is like a disadvantage over money. Because I mean, it's easy to steal money. Don't get me wrong. But it's like easier to get away with stealing money for uh, Bitcoins. It's just puked up in my throat. Mm. Let's get him another Keep cup. It. It's the but it's chocolate chip cookie puke. It's delicious. Oh yeah, it's that acidic, yeah. sugary. That's probably what it is. It's a, the, the chocolate acid reflux or something. Yeah. yeah. Merry Christmas, kids. I've definitely <laughs> got <laughs> that. Here's some advice from uh, Santa. Uh, 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 your chimney has a flu. <laughs> keep, keep it closed. Uh, get 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 high. Don't drink so much. You're gonna erode your fucking esophageal flap. It's just I can't eat popcorn while I'm talking, or I'll choke to death. And uh, uh, yeah, no orange juice. Everything everything that I put into my body is uh, at war with it <clears throat> in some form. Yeah. <laughs> it's either it's either the new the new kid in prison, and the whole body is going like, woohoo, who's this? Or it's like uh, tr some someone something that's trying to break into my body. <laughs> Steve's bringing you some water. Thanks. Uh, God bless. Th th thanks, Southie. Southie elf. <laughs> Southie ah, elf. Southie Get out of here, Southie wicked, elf. Thanks, wicked, 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 retarded. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you doing over there, Southie uh, elf? <laughs> How's your mother, Southie elf? <laughs> I got eyes I on you. <laughs> I don't have any elf references. There's no. <coughs> gross. <laughs> All right, let's let's do. We have another. Disgusting. Do we have time for one more ham question? Should we go ham? If you find it I fun, a, I have a politics uh, multiple choice question. If you okay. like one of those, yeah. How many times has Ted Cruz made his wife come? Okay. Is the answer A? <sighs> yeah, right. B. <sighs> trick question. She works for Goldman Sachs. The only way that she can come is by signing a predatory loan to a person of color. Or is the answer C? On the third hottest night of the year, they kneel before the statue of ancient undersea god crop locked, and their eyes become hollow as they turn into bleak darkness, which technically is an orgasm if you went to Yale. I have to recuse myself from this question. <laughs> and he's, he can't tell us why, but it's because of one of those answers. The NDAs. For reasons it's I one of the NDAs. <laughs> uh, I support everyone's religion, so I... I I'm going to go A. A is correct. Yeah, thank you. Thank oh, you. shit. Um, stump us with a ham question. Oh, yeah. Ham. No, this one you might get. Yeah. Which term describes the rate at which electrical energy is used? Which term describes the rate at which electrical energy is used? I got to have a, this one. A, voltage, B, current, C, resistance, or D, power? The rate at which it's used a? is the answer currently one of the choices. Oh, the rate at which it's used. Yeah, and the and the so it's resistance, voltage, voltage, current, 
resistance or power? Current. All right. Well, it's 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 not it's not resistance. It's not. Oh, you oh, know what's power. not current? That's, that's it's not current. It's voltage. 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 voltage yeah, right? I'm gonna yeah, say voltage whatever. too. I think voltage is like the po- no no no. Wait, voltage wait, wait. sounds like a rate. Well, current is amperage. Is it, isn't that is isn't that the that's the that's that would that would be like the the level that it's at across the the system if it's. Uh, so the rate at which it's used. Yeah, okay, all right. I, I, I'm going voltage as well. Voltage because it's a measurement. It's an index. An index. Is that your guess? No, my guess is the right answer. God Shit. Man. It's power. But didn't we? But didn't we like lie well? You yeah, have to we acted. We really like convinced it yourselves effectively. We did sound like we knew what we were talking. That's about. a good part do of test taking skills. Do you know that when I was five, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> <laughs> had this bright idea to get, I'm a kid, I need a train set. Went out and bought a, a, a Tyco, uh, God, I forgot what scale, but it was like a monstrous scale. H.O. It wasn't H.O. So it one Tyco about, made, barely. Oh, Jesus Christ. No Z's. H.O. I'm going to get into you. Uh, and then, <laughs> he, he, so Christmas Day comes, I open this thing. Here it is. I want him to help me set it up. And he tells me, No. Uh, we can't My do it. My father didn't help me set it he up. He said, we can't do it in this house because the voltage that the <laughs> we if we plug this into these walls, the paint will peel. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, son, this train can't. He just didn't want to set it up. Ah. Which is why at six, I set up the, the next train I got, I set up myself. I just read the instructions and did it myself. But he <laughs> like, literally lied and said the paint would peel if we tried it. Jesus that was your Christ. dad? What was my dad? So, do you me. do what? What do you love more now, him or trains? Oh come on, man! That's a that's a no brainer. Trains. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just meant. Well, Damn. sometimes we invert that stuff. It's like well, your oh, dad. You're like, got, you're like, oh, dad, you're, you're no. like, fuck a train, and my dad's so amazing because you like because he know, taught me how to like yeah, well, build my we, own train sets kid, and sh- kids twist shit. No, kid like, across we, the street from me uh, could not wait for his father to set up the track, so he pulled the train out the box and uh, broke it by playing with it on the carpet all day long, Oof. like a dumbass. Uh, <laughs> my mom threw my 10th birthday cake at my father. <laughs> the kid across the street, same kid. His mother would beat him with Hot Wheels tracks, which is the darkest shit in the world to beat a kid whip. with his Hot, toy. Those things. Like the, the plastic, like, yeah, loop-de-loop loop ones? Vinyl, dude. And if you, put the, if you put the connector in it, then it was like a nice stinging yeah. tail at the yeah. end of it to, like, pop him. It's yeah. the worst thing you've ever seen. Remember that Joan Benet Ramsey uh, thing where she had the two uh, wo- contact wounds on her body, and they they they... Uh, deduced that it was uh, her brother must have poked her already dead body with what? a railroad track, <gasps> piece of railroad track from the other room. What we're saying is, don't get your kids trains, trains. for so Christmas. Then. Yeah, it could either end well, in disappointment was, or death, and that that's it then. for trains. That was then. Tyco. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lion- I'm here on behalf of the fine folks. Lionel. Of Tyco. Lionel actually. Lionel ran into trouble, financial trouble, and Uh-oh. almost failed. But were saved by Neil Young, who bought the entire company and, and resurrected it. Uh, so I think Lionel's a fine company right now. Wow, Christmas fun facts. Just so you know. Neil Young? Neil Young bought it because his son. he and his son bonded through two things. One was the, uh, the speech synthesizer that he had that was a Kurzweil, I think. And then also through trains. And so now he's got on his, on his, on his camp, he's got this thing where kids come. And they ride the big scale, like the L scale or something like that, Lionel train. And they just ride them around, and they and they help maintain them. And then they also like look at the big, sort of smaller HO scale displays yeah. that he has. And they and they and he helps. You know, Which he brings does. things back to Alabama, <laughs> sweet home. <laughs> yeah. I heard Leonard Skinner is buying a, their own uh, model train that's called <laughs> "Fuck You, Neil Young." And <laughs> oh, fucking tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's a deep cut. <laughs> a little war between those guys about Alabama. Only about the state of Alabama, though. Not about right. the, not about the politics involved. Well, no, there was Skinner. Little... Skinner was progressive. No, but Skinner was like their lyrics. I, there's contention about that because they're they're if you listen to those Skinner lyrics, they're referring to some racist shit, some hot top, hot button shit. And they're just th- saying, "Hey, man, you don't understand us. We're from the South. You don't get it. So shut up." Yeah, but when you say that. Uh, about a state. I know. I, know. Uh, okay. I was getting. I, I, was, I, was, right. was, I was. I was going. Well, you're very dry. They bring up I, I was right? being super dry. <laughs> <laughs> you and Chris McKenna, I can never. Uh, I was I'm being like, super dry. You guys do jokes, and then I'm like, well, no. But the thing is, I'm, like, Dude, I'm fucking with you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
All right, what time is it? We have 9.43. McKenna said he named... Can we say that? I think you can. What? McKenna said he named uh, The Rock's character in Jumanji 2 after me. Right. What? what? Dr. Spencer Smulders? That's awesome. That's rad. Yeah. And you don't know if he's kidding because... No, I think he's honest because he's told me multiple times, no. each time like assuming I forgot, like you'd forget someone like naming a <laughs> Jumanji character after you. Can you guys read that clock from here? Uh, yeah. 1644. Oh, it says 16. Okay. 44. I, 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 isn't accurate. That's a blue blur to me. Is that, do you guys have contacts or... No, I'm visibly wearing glasses. I have wolf vision. So. My eyes are going bad fast. You that's should get hit in the eye with the laser. That's pretty crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just kinda, I, I'm going to, you know, this is actually the last time our, our listeners and viewers will uh, be in contact with me before I'm 45. Whoa. When exactly okay, is the right. big day? Which is exactly half of my life, because uh, I'm definitely the kind of guy that lives to 90. Just after Christmas. <laughs> um, Any plans? Just after New Year's, one of the two. I'm, I retire at 47. <laughs> uh, I uh, Like a boss. Man. I mean, once your eyes are just, they can't even see clocks, you should just eat a bullet. No, you got glasses. You're going to love glasses. I have glasses. They're dumb. I just, like, it's just, I'm just saying, like, God has a plan, you know? Like, like it's like, here's your eyes, and you're like, okay, how long do these last? 45 years is, how, is the answer. Uh, like, 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 oh, well, what, what can't you see? Well, when the answer is, like, how many fingers is your fellow caveman holding up like from 50 yards? Big deal. W what's your caveman got that's so important that you need to count on his fingers? But when the answer is a clock, what time is it? What, what's, what's, your, what's your flight number, you know, right. at the airport? It's like, <laughs> you know, you're like, and I, was like I don't know. I can't. I got to pull out these fucking telescopes and put them on my face. Eh, just let this tiger eat you. Is, that, <laughs> but, <laughs> is, it the, is it that, though, or is it the magnifications that we have to deal with where you're like one, at one minute looking at your phone like this? Yeah, maybe we're fucking up our eyes more. On screen and then you're there. I you're think forcing that's a huge part of that. To kind of like contract and look like that. It would be crazy if we hadn't had a huge, yeah, if, if all technology and screen culture didn't ha it wasn't fucking with our... I it eye is. Muscles. Our screens are too bright. Is the newest one that we should all have our laptops. At that's half. the. That sounds like the whitest fucking bullshit. Like my screen's too bright. <laughs> Give me a new screen, Janice. It's too bright. But Brandon brought it up. <laughs> so. I do know Janice though. But I mean, yeah. it just sounds. It just sounds like <laughs> he did nail that part. Like. What I, I mean, even if the screens are too bright, like who can make that like their main? Because there's got to be a person who's like, I'm. It's I'm going to be the screen brightness person. Have I'm you ever be thought the about telling your kids everybody. about the future? I mean, you could tell your kids don't have your screen so bright. I want to know since you do a Christmas and a birthday, back to back. Right? Oh me, yeah, yeah. Plans? No, I don't. Well, not. I don't have any plans this year. Usually for cr Christmas and or for New Year's, like I'll. I usually, like, I've been, the last couple of years, been organizing something, like, yeah. where maybe we all go to New York for New Year's or something like that. I haven't made any plans this year. I'm not going out of town for Christmas. And uh, in general, no birthday plans ever because I grew up with the with the hangover birthday. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's one thing I'm, I'm actually, I, I'm, I like about being a baby New Year. Like, I, I don't have, I'm, I don't have a birthday specialness. Yeah. And I it's nice. I'm, I I feel it makes me feel superior. It makes me feel like Wolverine. Like like I, I I'm like I'm like people are like, oh, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I'm like, I don't want to do anything. And they're like, come on, or you want to do something? I'm like, no, I really don't. I'm totally socialized from birth to not give a fuck about my birthday. You should do something. <laughs> t t you, you know what I like I to do like for my birthday? Take down the tree. <laughs> that's all, like, like, like that's all I associate with my birthday. It's like my I would get an extra present, at, you know, somewhere, you know, like from my mommy and like what. That's it's not like, right. It though. just feels like uh, no, but it's it is right. It is right to Morge. It's your birthday. No, 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 man. no, no. It's right for you to say it. You do whatever but then you your want. Your friend's job is to say that. That's that. That's, no, no, that, no, that's no, not right. no. I no. would have been. I used to be like that. I used to be shut down. And, Wait, when's uh, your birthday? 9-11. April 25th. Oh, but you're just saying, like, in general, emotional. But in general, you're talking <laughs> yeah. about after yeah. Easter. Yeah. Being oh, DeMarge is like having a birthday after Christmas. <laughs> what? Oh, the look. <laughs> I, I, I'm just doing a day. Rochester. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like people, I, it just, I used to be like, like, no, 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 I'm not going to do anything. Uh, not that that's you, but. It is. My friends <laughs> would, would be the ones that would kind of be like, look, dumb, dumb. 
you, have a surprise. Like and, and, yeah. and small now you have mundane great things happen. Like one one day we went to Papa Gino's. At the start, at the start of it, but I thought you were going to say thing. Papa John's. Yeah, but I don't want that. Well, look, it's, let's split the difference. Here's, <laughs> the what, I, here's what I usually do. I, I, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, maybe I'll go. Uh, I'm turning 45. Meet me at the roost. I'll be there from eight That's o'clock it. to. The roost there you go. Great. The yeah. roast is great. Yeah, and you buy out the like you just do like get a like get a jukebox buyout. Like look, only songs. Yeah. I'll do something like People that. People like. Yeah. But a lot of times it's like everybody's hungover, including me. Like, it's like January 3rd, you know? It's like a crazy time. You to- and, I remember the one, the, one of the best times I had post Christmas was when you and Merle had a joint birthday party. Hmm. It was at the Griffin, which I hate, but like. Just that community of people just sitting around, standing around, talking, and being able to bounce from one conversation to the next. It was such a good group of people. It was, it was fantastic. It was it was a lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna that. throw uh, I'm gonna throw Palm Springs rent a house out because that Springs way you're house. there for New Year's Eve, and then you just stay. Asking a lot of people to drive up, but but, but what you're there for that 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 means go there for New Year's. And you're stay. there, maybe an elite group, but and then they can come and go, right? Because you'll be there for a while. Hmm. You know, do it for five days. Well, guys, celebrate yourself, man. Celebrate do yourself. Yourself. Celebrate yourself. Do celebrate yourself. Like, what's celebrate the yourself. thing that you would most <laughs> want your friends to do with you if you could, if you had unlimited resources? Show us how to celebrate. That's a great question. I'd like to watch uh, Xanadu. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Love it. I did that last time, and it look. Okay, that, when new. I force people to watch things, like it's very sad. Trude off the red you nose reindeer. Go, okay, <laughs> I, don't have I, I have to watch anybody. Hudson Hawk. I get it. I have to watch it because it's your birthday, and then they're kind of like eh, it's Hudson Hawk. I'm gonna leave. But yeah, what is on your uh, what, what what's on your list of things that would be like? What's the thing that brings you joy that you would love to share that joy with your friends? Don't say AIDS. <laughs> Unless Again. it's his birthday if wish. Was, if this was Agey Town, then. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get, you know, like, a, like, like Minecraft. But then it's like, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to come home and have you guys go surprise. And there's like inflatable blocks that I can pick with a balloon axe. Man, wouldn't you love that? Uh, no, Man, I'm the one I you bought. Look, that. trust me when I say I'm the one you bought the gun for. <laughs> 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 if I, if you come home, I'm, I'm in your house. I'm be standing Kapow. next to two raccoons like this motherfucker <laughs> right here. Dan, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Dan, got you, motherfucker. You should have shot me. <laughs> Uh, you can come in my house anytime you want. I promise I won't. As long as you dress the same, I won't be like, what the fuck? Just wear the antlers. Fine, Minecraft. It, it, no, but I'm not. I, t- I, t- I don't want to have a Minecraft themed birthday party. No. It's like a six year old's. That's like not. I like I enjoy playing Minecraft because I don't want to be around people and I want to have a sense of order what, what, in my what life. If we did a, what if we did a this is your life sort of thing? Oh, that work no. for you? Well, we did a ro- for my 30th <laughs> oh, birthday we did a roast. Oh. It was real and and I was just recalling that the other day with uh Jeff and it was really funny because it was like literally like the day for the roast was more the uh, twice as much as the people in the audience. The point wasn't to do it as a performance. We we just wanted to do a roast kind of thing, and we just all kind of roasted each other in the back room of this restaurant, and it was just us at a long table laughing as if there was an audience there, and there really wasn't. And that was pretty fun. Uh, and it was also mean, but uh, whatever. We called each other drunk and old and gay and whatever. <laughs> um, but, but uh, yeah, so what, what did you say that reminded me of that? Like... Uh, uh, you said uh, this is your line. All oh, right, right. Oh, like a right. like a performance, like a your special attention thing. Aaron McGathy did like the probably the coolest right. birthday thing where because she, I mean, it was just like you can't really top that. She took all of the. She published a book, and then had a book like reading with yeah. like all all of my friends and like. Yvette Nicole Brown reading passages from my book and then like other you know every everyone that I'd worked with like coming up and reading like that was pretty that was like a narcissistic Philly cheesesteak it was just yeah. like <laughs> I, I was sick of myself uh, two hours later and it was like an amazing feeling like I didn't know I could get that full of myself and like burp and fall asleep. Uh, I was there. That that was pretty special. And as such I kind of don't need that I don't really I don't really fantasize about that anymore like yeah. I think I, so. It's like it's sort of like I I want. 
what would I, what would I really want? What would like a fantasy be? For Even if that's to be left completely alone on your birthday, because that that is also a way to celebrate it. Rocket shoes. Rocket shoes now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, nice. I just, I just go up in the air and then I'd want to come down. I, I, I. I uh, I, I I mean I'd like I'd like to it would be it would be great to have a big party at my house but like it it, it, it my house my but the, then it's the, your house it's just you're all this party shit and there's, there's, there's holes in the stairs where the dog ate all the shit and it's a dog ate the f- curtains and so it's like yeah I would well, I would love to have my house be functional and have people come over and have the whole house filled with people and I'd love to walk around and say could I get you another drink and 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 have like a proper party yeah. at my house yeah uh, but it's yeah. Adults only. Yeah, do one of those things. Like a dinner party. No, I'd like there to be some 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 kids. That's what I, I'm, joking. Kids. I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I am too. I, I'm not a pedophile. Although I would, I did want to talk about that for a while, but it's too we late. We got time. We got the uh, we got <laughs> the blur. The blur says. All right. Minutes. Here's the thing. Roy Moore's not a pedophile. He's a he's a, he's attracted to pubescent girls. That makes him a worse person because it means he has uh, he's putting his own lack of impulse control above the law. Uh, 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 it, w- I know we don't like pedophiles because they have uncontrollable compulsions, usually brought on by child abuse. Th- that uh, the victims are the most innocent people in the world, and so the crimes are the worst that you could imagine. But when you w- we we keep calling this guy a pedophile, but I just I just every Every time I want, I want to go like he's not really a pedophile. Yeah. He's worse. He's worse than a pedophile. He's like he's say- a guy that what that that is like oh she's fourteen. I'd hit that. She's she can't defend herself. She her life is going to be ruined. Um, I'm making that decision. I could I could I, I, I we all have to sh- take shits and we do it in a toilet. Like we have laws that say well they got to be eighteen because then at least they have a little bit of a chance to not be permanently scarred if you drive by them on the street and go like mm, why not and like and he was like a guy that was like a district attorney and was going like eh, why not i could get away with it i could get away with it it's like that's a in a crazy alternate universe where we found out that a pl- politician was a pedophile it, it might be an opportunity to be like okay you probably shouldn't run for office um but let's help you uh, like like thank you for that legislation that you did that's so great before we found out you were a pedophile now now you thank you for raising pedophile awareness go in this place in this treatment program for pedophiles this is a guy who's like a sociopath you know it's like a criminal it's a person yes. that was just like like an arch criminal criminal there's an important distinction there anyways it's just, it's hard to go to it's, it's, you, you always you, 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 you want to like you want to go like well technically he's not you, but you, then you, you like end up in this conversation where they're like oh go on tell us about how pedophiles <laughs> are are really important <laughs> like a really important demographic that need to be given a shout out like i <laughs> There's not a lot of did products you, exclusively for them did you see did you see that documentary pervert park no, no. You should, everyone should watch that because I know it's like watch it's it on like Christmas with your pe- family. Pedophilia is obviously and understandably our culture's bedrock. It's you can't you can't get worse than that, but it's a condition. And then when you watch this documentary, Pervert Park, you it, it, it'll make you understand, not in a preachy way, but by a testimony of all these people that live in this trailer park of all these sex offenders that they can't live anywhere else, and it's run by a sex offender and. The, it, it, it's like every single one of their stories. They're, they're not. They're not heroes. They're not. It, 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 but every single one of their stories involves heroes. getting abused. Yes. And so it's like here we are in this society where we go, oh, it's like oh, you, you got abused, so you're probably going to abuse somebody, right. or you abuse somebody, you probably got abused. And we, we that's a definitely a capitalism thing. Like we don't put money no you can't get votes by saying <laughs> let alone campaign money by saying i would like to pump some <laughs> some financing into this pedophile cycle uh, uh this person uh molested this child which means there's an opportunity to break a cycle here either with their child or with them and like I, if you if you elect me your congressman i'll make sure that money yeah. goes to the right place like and as a result that's what you know like so then you have this uh, That's what brought n- down John Kerry's campaign. <laughs> yeah, he did it. It, it. it does not work. It is not good in the debates. That and running the other way when he saw those Vietnamese bullets. Well, you know why? And that swift boat. Remember, he was like, yeah. turn the swift boat around, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but the you you bring up a great point uh, about that 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 Roy Moore is because I think the thing is is by calling Roy Moore a pedophile, you're giving him stolen victim valor. Right, where like he didn't earn any like he doesn't it, have a medical excuse right. to be a bad person. Right, no, he's just a bully and an asshole. 
if your neighbor might be a pedophile and he's not running for D he wasn't DA and he wasn't uh he's not running for anything. Unless you live right next to Roy Moore, in which case don't <laughs> listen to this part. <laughs> Anyways, but it's all over now. But uh, yeah, pedophile was the easy word to use, but it just didn't really apply. And it's like weird because it's like isn't there like a little bit of residue there where you go, ha, found out that guy was a pedophile, well, he, cost on the election. Ne you know, and, and now it's like there's almost like a sort of residual like badness there where it's like, oh, if you can find evil in someone, you call it out. But it's like, what about what about selfishness? Sorry, what were you going to say, Demorge? Just idiocy also as well. And it's just sort of like, given all that and everything, and jackass rides up on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, know? and so you get to the point where it's sort of like, I mean, yes, what you're saying is true, but also the vitriol doesn't need to go away. It has to just be reshaped and directed in, I guess, in the right shape at him again, because it's a, that would be like somebody calling somebody an asshole and then somebody coming out of the crowd and going, technically not a sphincter. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. He, yeah. This dickhead in all of his whatever, to either either made that directive or heard that directive and thought, no, this is a good idea. I'm going to ride up on a horse right. after all of this well, and, and, you, and confidently and slam the... Well, the, horse said, the numbers aren't good. Or the numbers are good. Ride up on a horse. The or the numbers aren't good. I'm going to... Why don't you ride up on a horse and tilt it? He just wanted to show 14-year-old girls in Alabama that they have stuff in common. Like, they all like horses. Like, that's what the horse thing but was. My little pony says yeah, I should exactly. vote this way. Right. If, you, if you run a simulator in your head where you cross threshold after threshold after threshold, like, the people that we're up against in this culture war, um, if you imagine being one of them... Whereas you and I can be eroded, we have that option. We can drift into cynicism. We can start caring less and less. We can realize we never cared at all. I'm not trying to say like we're I'm Han Solo and we're and stuff like. I'm saying like we have the position that we're in allows for slow transformation from what we are to what they are. Mm -hmm. They have the luxury, air quotes for our listeners, um, of being on the side of a threshold where it's it's over, man. Yeah. Lay on McDuff. Like 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 the you you cannot now change your mind. And it's weirder than in Nixon's time because now there's an internet. Everyone has a Facebook timeline. Everyone. It used to be the joke about the, your Mondale bumper sticker that was like, you know, you had to scrape your bumper to like erase your paper trail. In Nixon's time, it took six years for your Uncle Tony to realize Nixon was a piece of shit, and he could spend three years, three Thanksgivings, he could just shut his mouth during the pop, the the, the conversation, and yeah. slowly get to, you know what, I don't like that guy. He's tricky dick. We have now this like up to the minute like you have to double down or release every day and if you have been doubling down for a year you are 23 percent of the nation right depending on what polls you go by and how you compound these information we have gotten to this core of you have this fucking thing where you now need to go to that rally and you need to ride up on a horse and you need to to, to give speeches about uh you know we were in vietnam and there were shit we could have fucked a million 11 year olds and we didn't do that and and, and like and we, our lawyer's a jew our accountant's a jew and everyone's like waving their hats in the air there's a subtext to it which is like we're too far gone. Stop us. Save us. We cannot stop ourselves. You won't stop shaming us if we do. We cannot. We have, a, we have adopted a philosophy that says we're tired of being ashamed. So when, every morning when they get up and they think about what if this is the day when I change my mind, the, the answer is, oh, and so I begin a lifetime of fucking having to think about that year I spent <laughs> well, that's like, what like, they, like, like working for Sauron and I'm just going to like be the most awkward person at the yeah. office party that, no that, I have to fucking double down that's why they all get mad at Starbucks cups and like these crazy you know like the, all of their rage gets like funneled at the weirdest things like an ESPN reporter said that the president like farted or something and then they're like oh well, we gotta get her off the TV like that's like their it, it's their lives are such a contradiction that it's gonna it's gonna be incredible just to watch 
how they like their brains explode over the next few or years. how the government buildings that they blow up explode i mean we are either way something's the, gonna these explode. people are going to continue to mass shoot and fertilize bomb and 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 the best we can hope for at this point my definition of of utopia which is basically get me back to my white fragile mollusk shell like i in that universe, they're just back in their mom's basement, like polishing their jack boots, and with uh, with their swastika posters, like covered with like Dukes Dukes of Hazard posters, you know, for in case company comes over. Like 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 it's just back to the shadows, back to the shame. And then what do they do down there? Like I don't know. They fucking fester and metastasize, obviously. Like, I, but I don't. Yeah, I, I'm all over the fucking place. You got it. Though. Merry Christmas. I We're guess gonna, is my point. Yes, that Merry is Christmas. your point. Merry Christmas. We gotta go, but we won't see everybody until 2018. Yeah, cannot wait to fucking see what we all do in It would be nice to have a New Year's show where we could talk about the year. But what have we ever done but talk about the year? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, let's. It's been a rough year. Let's have epiphanies, um, uh, and we will. Good yeah. stuff. No, yeah. there is there is so much that is positive that is twenty eighteen right the year. here. Uh, there's just so much crap that happened early on, and we've been talking, 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 talking all year long about this. But it's 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 right, man. It's even ready. if sh- even it's- if shit doesn't hit the fan over Christmas break, which I was alluding to. Uh, shit not hitting the fan over Christmas break is is in itself a form of weird passive shit hitting a nascent fan. <laughs> um, and so for sure 2018 is going to be a weird time to start together. It, it, we, yeah, like, like, please, if you're listening at home, like, like, like really reinvent yourself. Like it's the time, like, don't, don't just like joke about it. Like, like it's a, it's a great time to change your mind about a lot of shit without having to, feel uh like you lost something or that you would you're admitting that you were ever a dick or a bad person like it's you can just everyone gets to just go uh, i'm gonna try this new thing i'm gonna be a cowboy i'm gonna wear this cowboy hat um uh only most of you i hope maybe you would uh, it would be the reverse where you maybe lose the cowboy hat <laughs> but 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 no keep the cowboy hat it's cultural it's great it's about your heritage i i, I who's listening to my podcast in a cowboy hat nobody <laughs> If you're, just, if you're listening in just a cowboy Tom hat, Mix Tom to, Mix is listening to your po- to your podcast in a cowboy it's a terrible hat. impression to march uh, the, the, j- j- uh, j- uh, drop your cowboy hat metaphorically in favor of a pair of antlers. Uh, I think they really amplified Brandon's points tonight <laughs> 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 as they were wiggling. Uh, thank That's you, Sarah fucking- Hill, Chris <laughs> Baruff, uh, for your Christmas decorating, the trimming of the of the stage. Uh, I really. I kind of just want to keep it this way for for January. You should. You should yeah. Like most pe- most houses will still be decorated for Christmas in January. I feel like having like Christmas decorations twenty four seven is just like really broadcasting that you outlived your son. You know? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you, who Zach McKeever. Thank you, uh, uh, Nolan. Uh, Nolan. Nolan. Uh, wait, Nolan, 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 Todd. What the fuck is this? What, Nolan Fabri- Fabri- Fabricus. Fabricus. Nolan Fabricus. 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 So Fabricus. Fabricus. Nolan Fabricus. Derived from the German. So respectful. <laughs> it's Fabricus. 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 Uh, Fabricus. One of those was the correct way. Much respect. Uh, who Fabricus. else is out there? Donna Fabricus. in marketing. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. uh, Eric. Eric in accounting. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sharon in HR. Steve Levy. Steve Levy. What can you say? He brought uh, those things on stage. Thank you, Steve Levy, uh, <laughs> for 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 another year. Thank Meg, Meg Ryan. Ryan. Meg Ryan. Say thank thanks, Meg Ryan. Thank you, Meg Ryan. Ryan. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan for sticking who, who, in there. Who works in uh, sneak attacks? Did Meg Ryan make the weed cookies? Because those were really good. Thank you to whoever made those. Thank Hell yeah, my man. Those were made legally. Thank you, Prilosec, uh and Uber <laughs> for 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 the rest of my evening. Um, yeah, and we'll see we'll see you in 2018. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fine. Don't don't listen to me. <laughs> Motivate, activate, register, and also start together. It's my favorite Slater Kinney song. Spencer, what would Jeff Davis say right now? Stay home and don't take chances. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, take a little acid. Also, it's all about the booty. Microdose the booty, with the your booty, parents. The booty.
get any of that? It's a good show!